Hello! Welcome back to Nino Kuni 2 as we find ourselves in the conductor's dream night or nightmare scape, I guess, again. Because uh, when I finished it off the last time, in the last episode, uh, it just wouldn't let me progress. So we're going to give this an old college try and see how we get on the second time by going through the exact same. Bloody maze. You ready for this? We are in like chapter eight though, so we're like fairly close to the end, I think. I don't know how many I don't know how much post game stuff there is. I'm kinda of disappointed that we are like maybe maybe chapter nine is like really long, I don't know. But like we are on chapter eight of a, a nine chapter game, from what I've been led to believe. I mean, I have a friend who played this, and he told me it only had nine chapters. And we are on chapter eight, and it feels like there's a lot more to do with um, Evan more. Like it feels like I can upgrade the kingdom like a whole other level. Goes nothing. And I only barely got done upgrading it to the current level. So like, ah, shit. Doing his jumpies. Ah, and someone hit him. There you go. Oh, cool. I got a button out of that. Tight. But yeah, if it feels like we're. Maybe really close to the end, but like the, the kingdom management part has a lot more to go. Maybe it's just like you can do stuff post game, like of your own volition. I don't know. Yeah, we don't even know what the big bad's plan is. Like it, like I'm guessing a lot of work here is uh. A lot of story work is like gonna happen in like the last chapter. I think we've already like we, we fought this guy already, so I'm pretty sure we're already set up to fight him. If I recall correctly, he was a pain to fight though. But Here goes nothing. Uh oh! This ain't looking too good! That's all that's always encouraging, isn't it? When when the fight starts out with 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 lofty going, oh shit, this is bad. <laughs> all right, well they're all dead. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No. Oh shit, the fucking water guys are my healers now? Okay. This is going a lot better than the last time. And then I whiff. I need your help. Are the fairies back yet? Um, I don't think the pixies are back yet, so we're fine. I'm counting on you. Oh, he's doing his spinnies. I can't blame him for falling down after that. He's summoning reinforcements. He doesn't seem to have summoned them yet. I guess it's a good thing that I keep interrupting him. Whoa!
So I did, um, do you remember that, that labyrinth thing that we discovered at the end of the, the last stream, Kira? Uh, so I did, I did the rest of that. Um, you can't finish that until you've finished the game. Uh, when, when you were still in the process of playing the game, you can only do that up to floor 21, which is what I did. I, I got down to floor 21, but um, now all it says is like, go finish the game and come back when you're done. Oh. Oh, cool, someone froze him. Really well. So I think the reason I'm not having, like, I guess I never picked up on that the last time I fought this guy. That when he goes blue and does all the aura, that um, that means he's trying to summon ants. Just interrupts them every time, and it's such an easy move to do. There he goes. He's starting up his swing. Starting up his dance moves. God, he has a lot of health, doesn't he? Fucking hell. He's not that, he's not even that challenging of a fight, he just has like, a lot of health. I'm always in favor of any of these RPGs having like a mechanic where you can just see, like not a bar that the enemy has, but like their actual, oh here he goes again, he's spinning. But like, an actual like, number value. I imagine this dude must have like several hundred thousand health. I have been hitting this guy for like 10 minutes and he's just refusing to die. He's nearly dead now. Oh shit. Okay. Yay, we did it. You have reached the challenging god portion of the JRPG. I think we might tonight. Then again, I was saying to Kira, like, I don't, I don't know. Also, hi, Jacob. But I was saying to Kira, I don't know if we will. Like, we're on chapter eight. There's only supposed to be nine chapters in the game. Surely we're near the end, you'd assume. But at the same time, like... It feels like there's a lot more to do with, like, the kingdom management bit. And, like, as Kira pointed out, we don't even know who the big bad is supposed to be yet, or what their goal is. Like, we know there's the snake guy, but, like, he's working for someone else. Well, that was a fucking... that was a mess of light. Okay, so the last time I came here, the bunny wouldn't let me go any further. So, what if I... change my quest to make this the active quest? Follow the rabbit, head to the mysterious house. Okay. See, I can't get past him. 
Am I not supposed to follow him yet? Uh, Kira, or like maybe Jacob, if you're all right with it, uh, could someone like look up if I'm supposed to be able to get past that rabbit? So I'm wonder, because there's the exit, like over there. That's ostensibly where he wants me to go, but I can't get past him. Like when I talk to him, he's just going to make me leave the dream. Is that because I haven't finished the game yet? Because there's another side quest that I, I was talking to Kieran about that apparently I can't do because I haven't finished the game yet. The side quest is called Follow the Rabbit, by the way. I've seen games where the last chapter is 50% of the game. <laughs> yeah, okay. But yeah, all I'm really concerned with now is like getting across this It's ever so dull walking the same old road forever, don't you think? You must take the time to stop and appreciate the marvels of the wayside. Enchanted toadstools. The enchanted toadstools, the hidden paths. Or would you rather be leaving this land of make-believe and magic? I can take you back toward reality if you like. No. I want to go past you over to that fucking thing so I can go up there where the story wants me to go like the <laughs> am i supposed to go up here oh ah i'm supposed to go this way i solved it by using the spell that the game never actually cares about me using one way or the other how are you lads how are you Oh, there's a chest up here. Thanks. It's weird that they don't let you go past that. Can I drop down here? I can drop down here. Oh, we have a duel going on. Jacob, I feel like it would be more news at this point if you told someone you weren't EP. I can't remember the last time I talked to you where you weren't tired. <laughs> oh, Jacob might pull it out of the hat. Unless Mia gets a single hit in which, no, he won't. Ah well. Immediately sucker punched her. I just did one ah. of these! Ah, you fixed your bed hair, Roland. How about we focus on the fight? I love Tani and just the noises that she, she makes the weirdest noises, just like, ah! <laughs> Eat these words well, O oh warrior. O oh, oh would be warrior, a truly evil being doth lie, ready to rain attacks upon thee. Enter the maelstrom at thy peril. Okay, so a word to the wise, he is. He is a, a woodland nymph creature thing. Also, I have not gotten battle points in ages. I think I might have maxed out the battle point thing. Just weird because this one down here is only like level four. But I'm not I haven't gotten new battle points in ages and I've forgotten how I get battle points, so. I had a drive into less lesson today and my instructor got a new car and it's the most modern thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Is it a car for is it a car from like this decade? Oh shit! Jacob, you were saying you wanted to see me fight God. I think that might be himself over there. <laughs> look at a crown look at a crown of spirals and sharpie point bits on that fucker. 
If that's not God, I don't know who is. He has webbed feet and everything. Here goes nothing. Hello. Oh, he's a center. I always knew I always knew God was a center. The Nightmare King, huh? What a name. Does that mean there are Nightmare Dukes and like Nightmare Counts and Barons and stuff? It's like a whole Nightmare feudal system. Whoa, 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 don't want to be near that. So this is one of those bosses that I really fucking hate fighting because it's not like I get, like look at the damage that I did to him when I attacked him twice. He is not a difficult he is not like a strong boy. He just is difficult to hit. And I have no movement skills to get near to him. Thank you. Oh, that'll be- oh no, that actually won't be useful in this fight. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Come back here, I only have so much meter. Stop running from me! Ah, I only have to attack him like- Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Stop running from me, you piece of shit! Come back here and let me kill you! I have to heal. You think the Nightmare King would be more psychic attack, right? You think it would be less wind? It's got automatic windscreen wipers. Most cars in the last 10 years have automatic windscreen wipers. Automatic lights. Yeah, that's not driving assist. So when you try to pass a cyclist, it was trying to pull me back over. An electronic speedometer. The whole shebang. That is not that advanced of a car, Mia. You're describing literally any modern car from like the last 10 years. <laughs> oh, and an extra gear. And the bite point is different, so it took a while to get used to it. What, so there's like seven gears? So you're saying it has... What kind of car? What kind of... Si Most cars have six gears, Mia. Most two liter cars have six gears. Have you only been driving up to fifth gear in this at this point? What the t also, if it was really fancy, it would be automatic. All the fancy cars these days are automatic. When you were driving, only had five. Must have driven like a hatchback or something. Stop fucking jumping, you! Oh my god, I hate fighting this guy. I can't control the way I'm rolling, I'm confused. Ow. I will say, I don't like how the game uses items. 
can buy as many items as you want, but you can only use a certain amount in battle. So it's like, oh, I can buy like a hundred of this particular item. It's like, okay, you can only use eight of it in battle, but, but like, what's the point? This is an unnecessarily long fight. Come on, tire yourself out so I can kill you. Oh, it's not tired out yet. Might be about to die. Might as well use the one of the confusion things. Why is he a why is God a center? Stay in one fucking place for the love of God. Thank Jesus Christ. You can't learn to drive in an automatic. No, you can't. But you can choose to drive an automatic if you want once you learn to drive a manual. I think you can. Uh, well, I don't know about England. I know. You, I know over here you can learn to drive it. You can learn it to drive in an automatic, but then that's all you can drive. You can never drive a manual transmission car. Whereas if you learn to drive in manual, then you can like drive an automatic if you want without having to get a new license. Most expensive car in Ireland has four wheels, four horses, and built-in and built-in oil lanterns. <laughs> car my parents drive won't even let you connect your phone. What? Oh, like I think they might be behind. But before Zeke brought that up, I thought they had modern cars. Yeah, no. When when I when I get into the car, the like. My phone automatically connects via Bluetooth. <laughs> Why do I feel so nervous? This isn't the first time I've been here. The driving lessons are going well, though. Like, I mean, it was a bit it's a bit of a learning experience for you, I suppose, today, but like, overall, it's going well. Welcome, welcome, one and all. Tonight, it's finally time to officially certify you all as apocalypse-ready salvation providers. Well, after some minor preliminaries, of course, I'd like to tell you the tale of the dear little of this dear little house, if I may. It's a sad tale. Don't tell them about this house. This house is sad. It's tied to the tale of another savior, you see. The savior from the first game. A great wizard. He was like, he was an okay wizard at best. This is the place where he was born. He, the person he's referring to here, being uh, the conductor's soulmate. And soulmate in this game means different to what you think it might mean. Um, in this game, in Nino Kuni, soulmates are people from other dimensions or other realities who are like your doppelganger. They're like, they're the version of you from that other reality. Like, um, if anyone remembers back to the last um, stream, we were down in the sewers and we came across uh, a statue of like a cat king. He was kind of pudgy. That was Tom Tildrum, and he was the soulmate of a character in our world called Tim Taldrum, who was uh, someone's house cat, which is 
very funny. That like, oh, I'm a king, and it's like, yeah, but over here you get belly rubs, and like, I, I feed you leftover fish. <laughs> Bet your car has an automatic boot or something. It does. You know, my 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 car's boot doesn't um doesn't cut my fingers off if I uh, leave them near the hinge. So like, that's that's all I want really from my car. Went to Lockborough for the first time last week. It's the city I'm going to take my test in. Oh, cool. Zeke gets into his car without... <laughs> without heat seaters and instantly gets hammer. <laughs> my... The, the seats in my car actually do uh, have, like, little radiators inside them or, like, they heat up. I don't, ac I don't actually know how the heated seats work. I'm just glad that they do. Uh, they're not automatic though. I have to, I have to like press a button. Uh, it's tied to the tail of another savior. You see, a great wizard. This is the place where he was born. The real house was in another world, but he traveled to this one in search of a way to save his beloved mother. So this is the same world as the first game. Okay. He visited our world, just like he didn't just visit it, he saved it. Oh yes, he saved it from certain disaster. And then when he went back home to his world, leave, and then he went home back to his world, leaving only the wizard's companion behind. All you need to do is find it. And once you've signed the pledge on the first page, you'll be able to access the magical martial method, method therein and become savior level spellcaster yourself. I don't use spells that much. Not to, And not a moment too soon because a certain someone out there is very much in need of saving. And so to our final treasure hunt. It is... This time, it won't be just scraps you're looking for, it will be the book itself. If I remember correctly, that book is found upstairs in the mother's bedroom under the bed. Yeah, I got air swarmers. What kind of fucking barbarian doesn't have air swarmers in their care? What happens when you get into the care at like half seven in the morning and it's cold? How are you supposed to heat up? Biddy's got a heated steering wheel. Oh, a heated steering wheel would be a fucking great idea. I don't have a heated steering wheel. Oh, that'd be a cool idea. The great book sits and waits for you. Its breath held. Still as stone, so wicked spells and thieving hands both leave it alone. Oh, it's in the fireplace. Yeah, it's in the fireplace. I forgot about that. Book is in the fireplace like literally part of the chimney i think it's hidden somewhere safe and sound if somewhat unexpected while other books fear such a place are spell books unaffected and the fire now off you go and find it and when you do be sure to sign the pledge it sounds like he's trying to get me in on a pyramid scheme I fear that Evan has ruined me for other, like, child Evan! characters in, in RPGs, because I usually hate, like, prepubescent characters. Honestly, I, I usually dislike teenage characters and younger in, in uh, stories in general, because they're generally fucking annoying. But I really, I'm really endeared towards Evan, and Tani is cool too, but, like, Evan is adorable. <laughs> this is it! The wizard's companion! Oh, well done, well done! And thank you! Now you can become the best spellcasters anywhere! 
This is going to be really cool to see if this is the act, like if I can interact with this wizard's companion and it's the same book as the first game, because I'm going to have so much to show off if it is, because the wizard's companion in the first game, Kira, I can tell you, was fucking gorgeous. I have seat warmers and heated steering wheel. You have a heated steering wheel? I don't have a heated steering wheel. I didn't even know heated steering wheels were a thing. I need to get one of those. Don't use... Don't usually bother to use them. Though, even if it's minus 20 because pants and glove exist over here. You guys invented pants? We still only have kilts. Oh, yeah, sorry, you missed, uh, you missed Bracken. Uh, that was in the last episode, or in the last stream. I found her a uh, new outfit. I'll, I'll show you the outfit there in a minute. Gloves in Welsh is Menig, by the way. Just thought you should know that. Is that one of those Welsh words where it's like, it, it's, it sounds like what it looks like, or is Menig not how you pronounce that? You can feel it, can't you? The power of the magical martial method, detailed within its pages. You can now select the wizard's companion martial method from the equipment screen. What the fuck does that even mean? What does that even mean? Oh no! A martial method known as the wizard's companion will slow down. Okay, will slow down time when you're casting spells, enabling you to use a special technique to make your magic hit way harder. Okay, that's not terrible. I thought they were gonna like. I thought they were gonna make the magic like the way it worked in the last game, which is not great. Buttons corresponding to the face buttons will appear while you're casting. Press the right ones and you'll boost the spell strength, add bonus strikes, and other extras. Oh no, they added in, they added in a fucking rhythm game, uh, <laughs> mini game in the DLC. Pressing a button will bring up another selection of icons. And the more you get through before the time runs out, the more effects you'll be able to add. When you run out of time or hit the maximum number of button presses, any power boosts you've added will be applied to the original and the original spell will be cast. You won't be able to move while building up to cast the spell, and the evade command will cancel will cancel the spell and free you to avoid foes. However, any MP used won't be restored. Fantastic. This sounds terrible. Menig is how you pronounce it. Some words in Welsh are like are like that. Others are strange. Like tractor in Welsh is tractor. I mean, television in Irish is telefiche. So, if I remember correctly, gloves in German literally translates to hand shoes. Jacob can probably correct me there. Oop! Shit. Spell Stringer adds a bonus blast of all elemental types without using MP. Spell Strengthener adds extra oomph to your main skill and any ensuing bonus blasts. Misspell. Hit a button associated with the misspell icon and you won't be able to press another button for a little while. And so we find our saviors at last, which leads us to my final request. Please ah. kill God for me. You're kidding me, Kira. Please tell me to stream then. Oh, let's see. Okay, thank you, thank you, Jacob. That uh, that made my heart stop for a little bit. Thank God. Alas, it seems we bought ourselves enough time to find the book, but no more. 
they have caught up with us again. So be it. See you some other sleepy time. You can't... Stop. You can't see me some other sleepy time. I've slept in all of the places. There are no other beds that exist in this world. Oh! We're running out of inns to visit. Well, I'm afraid that if you don't find one, we won't be able to meet anymore. Um... Does it absolutely have to be an inn? It's the only place where... It's the only place where enough dreams mix and mingle to bring about the conditions required. It would be almost impossible anywhere else. But of course, you said you were a king, correct? Which means you have a kingdom, which means there is a way we can meet again and again and again and again. Mm. Do you mean... Do you want us to build an inn in Evanmore? I've already built an inn. I've already upgraded it to its maximum level. Your grand... Yeah! You're a genius, Evan. Let's head home and get to work. There's nothing to get to work on. I've already built the inn. The inn is already built. The inn is already fully upgraded. It's, like, it's actually not a bad idea. Nothing says world-beating kingdom like a classy hotel, right? That's why the most famous kingdoms in the world are the Saudi Arabia. Indeed, indeed, what nation would not be overjoyed to welcome the wealthy foreign visitors? Such establishments inevitably attract. Uh, but won't it bring nightmares right into our own backyard? Not if you build carefully and discreetly. You must hide it from them. Their eyes can be deceived. Hmm. Hmm. I like how the I like how the nightmares were attacking a few minutes ago. Like he was like, "Oh, the nightmares are attacking. Time to leave." And then it was like, "Wait, wait, wait, wait. No, I have another question for you. You can't leave. How do I get back here?" And he was like, "Oh, right. Well, let me tell you." And then while he's been telling us, the nightmares have just stopped attacking. <laughs> I think he might have more control over the nightmares than he's letting on. Hmm. With the use of some form of magical barrier, perhaps. Intriguing. Yes, yes, and the wizard's companion contains the perfect spell for such a purpose. You'll be able to build a, pow a wonderful establishment if you... I know you will. Ho, 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 ho. Am I... Ah! Okay, so I haven't built the inn. I, okay, let me clarify. I have built an inn. I haven't built the inn. There's been a place in Evanmore that for ages I have not been able to put anything on. And it says, oh, you have to finish like a specific quest. And it's called the Dream Rooms. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to build the Dream Rooms now. Hello, Bungazan. I'm getting into, I'm getting into, uh, I'm becoming a hotelier. I'm, I'm, I'm getting into the hotel business. We're gonna, we're gonna start buying up real estate. <sighs> I suppose we can't really give up now. All right, we'll build somewhere, to, we'll build somewhere to stay in Evermore. Yeah! You can now build the new moon rooms. Yeah. Why not both, Funguson? Why not both? I will look forward to seeing you there, dear friends. Until then! Don't let me down now. We'll meet again. We must. Fuck that screen spray. Hmm. Had the dream had the dream they've been talking about, did you? Lucky you, I've not had it, and I stay here every blessed night. Do you mean we should build an inn? I'll have to run that by the pony council. They held a vote and changed my kingdom to a republic and, and said it was fine for me to continue adventuring. Who knew so many ponies had immigrated? I guess we should have listened to Chingus and 
his great repony <laughs> reponyman theory. <laughs> Oh, so I have a new martial method. Martha's methods? What are Martha's methods? What are martial... Martial methods are, thi are something that I'm only introduced to, like, right now. I don't even know... What? You've learned a wizard's companion martial method. Martial methods are secret techniques devised by certain legendary soldiers to give them the edge in battle. On the main menu, open the equipment and skills menu, then select martial methods tab see which of these arts are available to you. The skills associated with each method can be learned by taking the books found in various locations to the training grounds. In Evanmore and completing the required research. Skills learned in this way can also be reset by spending a few King's Guilders, allowing you to make the most of all methods available to help you become unbeatable. Okay. Martial martial methods is <laughs> martial methods is the evidence real name. That's true, yeah. Wow. Um, let's build that new moon rooms place. I got an achievement called In Business. In spelled with two N's. Grants access to a very special place. Oh cool, I did it. The New Moon Rooms. Pay a visit to Evermore's first hotel. It's not our first hotel. We have an inn in the main plaza. We've had it for ages. <laughs> Pay a visit to Evermore, Evermore's uh, first hotel, the New Moon Rooms, to take a trip to Dreamland and meet the conductor again. What could he want from you next? Oh, new leaf book post. Destination Evanmore. Always wanted to visit Evanmore, but never had an excuse? Well, now you can stay in the lap of luxury at the New Moon Rooms. Proprietor of the decidedly old-school cat's cradle must be spitting hairballs with this swanky new kid on the block. You know, I did always want to visit. Doesn't sound like a bad spot for a break. They'll need to up their souvenir game. It's not the only hotel in the world, you know. You wouldn't happen to work. You wouldn't happen to work for one. There you go. Uh huh. I think there's some. How are my Technophilia people coming along? There's still only veterans. Okay. Can I level this place up? Nope. Can I level this place up? Oh. Can't build this because I don't have the person for it. I hope I can go to either of the training grounds, because I don't, like, I've moved all of my people down to, like, the officer's training ground. So I'm, like, kind of done with the, the basic training ground. It's someone that knows sacred sight. Yeah. Ending Dewey done at the Higgledry. Need a head for Higgles and a sense of history, neither of which I have. So yeah, we just need we need the kingdom to level up basically is what we need. How's everything going with yourself anyway, uh, fuckers? See, this is the this is the fucking inn I was talking about. 
I built this. I fully upgraded it. It's like, look at the size of this barrel. Why would you want to stay anywhere else? Uh, I think I have to go out this way. Hopefully, yes. Evan. Method points. Where do I get method points? Probably from Method Man. I don't even know how to get in contact with Method Man, though. How long have method things been a fucking... Awaken... Awakenings triggered by gold golden balls last longer. That would be kind of good. Damage boost from abilities and magic is boosted when Zengage is at 100. Zengage fills more quickly. That would probably be good. It is a very impressive barrel. It's like three times the size of Evan, and Evan swears up and down that he's a very big boy. Magician's Apprentice. Martial method based on a legendary spell book. Said to be said to have inspired the adventures of a young wizard who went on to save the world. But who can say if any of that's true? I can say if that's true. I was there, I did it. Slightly increases the spell stringer damage. Slightly increases the number of spells you can cast during your build-up. I'm going to stick with the classical style for a time. Okay, so they can all learn this. Wow. Okay. Seriously, what what is... Like, what are method points? How do I get them and why do I only have five? King, you can now learn the King Zing spell. I mean, I can't. And I don't know how to get Zing point. I don't know how to get method points. Right? Like, I don't... I just wish, like, they explain everything else to me. I wish they'd explain to me what the fuck method points are. And everyone only has five of them. Is there any point in giving him, like, a print? Magician's Apprentice or any of these things. So I'm pretty sure if I give them to him, he's going to be like... Because he's an NPC, it's not going to matter. I'm also realizing now that I'm looking at the, the, the gear that he has on, the outfit that I've given him, is the outfit of one of the characters from the first game. And it's the outfit of uh, the character that was like... the head of the pig kingdom. Because, like, if you look at the, like, gold little brooch on his chest, that's like a pig snout. Now we're gonna give him faster caster. And we'll give him... Spell Stratner 1 and 2. Or two and three, I guess. Why does spell strengthener start with two? Makes the string sh spell stringer icons less likely, and the swing strengthener icons more likely. I don't know what any of these things mean. I 
Okay, cool. Say. I still don't fully understand why our our combat is still only at like uh an A instead of an S rank. Like everything else is S ranked. I guess maybe I just have to like learn more combat. I have to like research more combat things. I don't know. Uh Let's do a local teleport back up to the castle because I could be bothered walking away all, all the way up there and then we'll go into the hotel. This will probably unlock like uh, a new quest for us, probably. Stay the night at the moon room in. No, I'm gonna save first. Gonna be so over leveled by the st for the story by the time we get back to it. <laughs> mm. I thought if we stayed at the inn, we might dream of the conductor, but I didn't dream anything at all. You can't meet the conductor at the moment. Perhaps if you carry on adventuring to the end, you'll get your chance. Okay, so I can't meet him until after I finish the game. That seems to be how a lot of the DLC works. Is that I can't like do any more of it. Like up here with the uh, the labyrinth, I was saying to Kira earlier, I went in and did the labyrinth, but you can only do it up to level twenty. Um, and then like you get a teleporter that will bring you down to level twenty one, but you can't access that teleporter until after you finish the game. So uh, we're going to. I'm going to try and go back to Goldpaw because I do have one side quest in Goldpaw to talk to Bodley. But um, the last time I tried, the only dialogue she would give me would be like normal, like placeholder dialogue. So I think I've also reached the point in her quest where it's like, you need to finish the game. Yeah, yeah, she won't, she won't let me continue with her quest either, so I think what we're doing is we're continuing the main story! Shock and horror! Alright. Huh? It's really... Is it really true that King Evans come back to Ding Dong Dell? I thought that he was supposed to have been killed by during King Mausinger's coup. He barely made it out alive, apparently, which makes it even odder that he'd risk coming back. I'm right here. Whoa! <laughs> Prince Evan, I, I must say you're the last person I expected to return to run into. Should be interesting to see what a few of them. It's Prince Evan. You shouldn't have come back here, you know? King Moses is going to teach you a lesson. Um... Oh dear, oh dearie me. I'm absolutely certain that I've forgotten something. The girl outside says she's forgotten something? Where does she sleep? Oh, it's a bed. There's a bed right there. Okay. Um. Oh. Look how many times do I have to tell you I can't come home until we've rounded up all the Grimmelkin. They're a danger to themselves and others. I'm kind of hoping I could talk to the fat lady upstairs. Huh? 
Welcome. Come back anytime. I like how fucking normal everyone is being to me, th given the fact that I am the 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 recently cooed king of this place. Oh. Probably should have discovered that earlier, huh? What's all the commotion about? Wait, it isn't another cheese shortage, is it? Haven't you heard? They're saying Prince Evan is back. Honestly, I wish you'd think about something other than cheese. What's like a quintessential stereotypical human food? Like our diets are so varied, like from person to person, you can't really say like, ah, yes, that that that's the, the stereotypical human food, really. Like, in, in the way it... Hot dog. Sus. <laughs> I would assume it's some kind of meat product, right? Oi! What do you want? Huh? What, you're... Uh, I mean... <clears throat> King Evan! Um... Oh, my! Uh, please, you must forgive my atrocious managers, your majesty! King Mousinger has asked us to extend to you the most cordial of welcomes. <clears throat> he wishes, he wishes, <clears throat> he wishes that he, he wishes you to be informed that he awaits eagerly for you in the throne room. Mm -hmm. I know the way. Oh. Uh, of, of course you, you know the way. You had to run from there when we were trying to kill, kill you. Um... <clears throat> I'll say right, right here, um, and carry on, um, guarding. It's kind of a nice castle, to be fair. Mm. It's been such a long time. For me, it's only been one chapter since I snuck in here as Secret Agent Roland. Oi! Stop out of it, Evan, lad. We've got some mousing a wrangling to get to be getting on with. Let's hurry up and get him to sign your declaration, shall we? He's not going to sign the declaration, my dude. Golly. Never thought I'd see the day when I came to Ding Dong Dal Castle as a visitor. But yeah, like he's not, he's clearly not going to sign the declaration. We're, this is clearly a trap. Yes. I know you can bring King Mousinger to his senses, Master Evan. I just know you can. Hey, look, cats! <sighs> you're not a mouse scared, you're a cat. I can see it from your tail and also your headgear. I know you'd think he'd be better off living in a, peace a peaceful life in his new kingdom. Hey, hey! Hey, have you heard? They're saying King Evan is back in Ding Dong Dell. Hope he's alright. I mean, he can barely... He barely got out of here like the last time. All right. Time to be strong now, Evan. The rest of the text went so fast that I couldn't see what it said. Oh, my art's going ten to the dozen. That is that is a sound effect that some voice actor had to do, and I really wish no one had paid them to do it. I wish they hadn't done it. All right, let's go fall into a trap, shall we? Greetings. Oh, really? This part isn't voiced? Come on, my dude. This is an important cutscene. You couldn't have voiced this? Jesus. <laughs> Your Majesty, it has been too long. Ah, and I see that Roland is with you. I must thank you again for exposing our susceptibility to infiltration so thoroughly, Mr. Crane. 
And did you bring the Mark of Kings as requested? Don't panic. It's right here. Don't Excuse me. For a second there, I thought he was going to show the Mark of Kings, and I was about to be like, No, don't show him the Mark, you dumb bitch. King Mausinger, I have come to speak with you as the leader of one nation to another. Ha! Ah, yes. I must commend you on your new realm, and on your persistence. I have failed so objectively to rule at first... Having failed so objectively to rule at the first attempt, you would be forgiven for not trying again. Mm. I promised Aranella. I said I would build a kingdom where everyone can live happily after. <laughs> and you mean to do this by convincing others to sign your pathetic little pact, I understand? A fine plan. For a naive child. It's not. The Declaration of Interdependence is... Your Majesty, I must insist that you humor this boy's nonsense no longer. Not a moment longer. <laughs> Abandon this pretense. You do not mean to forge an alliance of equals. You mean to bend our kind to your will. This is just as your father did before you. <laughs> your motives are painfully transparent. And his majesty will not countenance such foolishness. Those days are long gone. Mm. There will be no pact. Mousekind will submit to the will of the Grimalkin no more. King Mausinger, please, we have to stop this before it's too late. So the voice acting just starts like halfway through the cuts. Okay. I see now why you overthrew me. So much has happened between our two kinds. But we can't let it go on. We have to bring the hatred between our peoples to an end. And what would you know of hatred, boy? Of the taste of shame? Of the humiliation of servitude. You tried to kill me and I had to run for my life through the sewer. I have a fair old idea about hatred. Actual cutscene? Actual cutscene. The of the Tildrums ends here, today, at Bitch, my Bitch, you can't hand. kill me. I just fought God. Oh, how long I have waited for this. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, this dude is gonna have such a bad day, Ding King Mosinger, the despot of Ding Dong Dell. Never! Yeah! Oh, I am gonna fuck Come this boy off. Ah! To meet your fate. Ah! I'm counting on yeah! you. Ah! Ah! Can I actually just can I actually like attack? Can I do something to that shield? I'm assuming he's invulnerable and I just have to dodge all of this shit. Oh no, he's The teleporting thing that he does can fuck off. But say your prayers. I need your help. Humiliated by two generations of the same accursed line. Damn you, Tildrum, and all your kind! Okay, one, no, 
If you were humiliated by my dad, your head would be on a pike by now. We don't have to do this, Mausinger. I didn't come here to fight you. I don't want to fight you. I kind of do. But, but Evan doesn't. But, but I kind of do. Come, Your Majesty. You cannot simply bow to defeat. If you do not destroy these worms, our people will never be safe. They will never be free. Ah, yes. It's not the dictator that's the bad guy. It's the dictator's advisor. The dictator is just misunderstood. Free? Yes. We must be free. But not like this. Don't listen to him. Don't Every listen to the guy who can't pronounce his R's. must die! Come, Oakenheart! Come to me! Oh shit. <laughs> come. Where did he I come from? Is he the guy that couldn't pronounce his hours? I had thought this tedium would never end. Oh no. At last it is done, Master. Vermine. Vermine? I would have pronounced that Vermine. Hitler did nothing wrong. Uh Seriously, though, Vermeen? Would, would anyone else have pronounced that Vermeen? Am I the only one who would have pronounced that Vermine? I hate or Vermine? Me, your Majesty. Even I must confess to feeling some small pang of guilt at having encouraged you to slay your dearest friend and patron. But you should not have so readily taken my word over King Leonard's. Those who claim that blood runs thicker than water grossly overstate the case, my beloved fellow mouse. Also, his name, it's not pronounced Leonard, it's pronounced Leonhard. All right, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure his name is pronounced Leonhard. No! In truth, your precious king was too nauseatingly good natured to betray you. To contemplate anything so base as manipulating you into keeping our kind in check. And more fool him, as you are so very easy to manipulate. Vermeen. How could you? He just said, because you're an idiot who's easy to manipulate. <laughs> How could I betray my master? How could you be so foolish as to ask such a question? Yeah, he's a rat. That's what rats do. And now, Lord Dolorum, I have fulfilled my part of the bargain, and my price was the kingdom, if you recall. I hereby claim it. Yes, of course. You must be rewarded for your faithful service. So, now he gets killed, right? Ha! Wah! Oh, that's what the girl from the first game was doing all the time. Uh, the, the, the Dark Jin. Dolorin, what have you done to him? He did what the Dark Jin in the first game used to do to people. He, like, stole his soul or pushed his soul out of his body or something. I have repaid the debt of a traitor, and not a moment too soon. This accursed kingdom. Not only was its ruler too pure-hearted to succumb to my corruption, even his closest aide proved immune to my advances. Kira, do you remember what that was? Do you remember what that was called in the first game? In the first Nino Kuni? The thing the Dark Chin did where he would like he would like rem it didn't isn't it like he would remove a section of your heart or something because the heart was made up of like four four or five things it was made up of like joy sadness uh bravery uh fear something else and it was like one i remember one of the symbols looked like uh the mickey mouse uh mickey mouse's head and the way the first game worked was you would find people who had a part of their heart missing and then you would have to find another person who had that part of their heart in excess. Like, oh, this guy is super brave, or this guy is super kind, or whatever. 
ask them to borrow a piece of their heart. And then you would take that piece of heart and give it to the person who had their piece of heart stolen away. Uh, I, I do remember, I, I think Kira should probably remember this as well, that there was one, there was one particular NPC that we ran into like seven times. We ran into him like a bunch of times. He was a side quest and him and his wife were like setting up, they were like trying to, they were like traveling salesmen. And every time you met them, one of them had had a piece of their heart stolen. <laughs> it was like every time you met them, it was like, oh god, which one is it going to be this time that has a piece of their heart stolen? <laughs> In the end, I was forced to settle for this contemptible worm. I have wasted so much precious time. I like his shoes. But at last, my plan is complete. What a pity you will not be present to witness its glorious fruition! Ooh, second boss fight? Nope. Wait, second boss fight? Oh, now I have to fight Oakenheart. Yeah, go with that. This throne room Oakenheart. is gonna get fucked. Has it really come to this? Wait! You needn't do this alone. We'll fight him together. As long as I don't have to do platforming like I did have to do in the last fucking <laughs> Kingmaker fight, because that last Kingmaker fight, the platforming was um, not the best. Oakenheart the Woodstalker. The Woodswalker, sorry. I'll do my best. Whatever them flowers are pumping out, it ain't good. Avoid the pollen stuff and bash them blooms. Okay. What are these? I'm shouting on you. Let's not find out, eh? Run away! Here we go! Oh, there's a hig maker in it. I'm shocked. Give up yet. Uh, where is he? Why is why is your man purple? I'm not even fighting this dude. I'm not even fighting this dude, and my team has him halfway dead. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely over leveled for this story. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just a hate maker. Alright, that should be all the hate makers I need. Get out of the way of that stuff. Come on. Aw. Oh, come on, do it again. Come on, get into a big circle so I can use your power to do something. What'd that do? Oh, this just seems cruel. <laughs> So is he immune during the Nope. He's not he is not immune during that phase. <laughs> well, that's the easiest one we fought so far. No. 
Ding Dong Dell is doomed. I have doomed it. For my king's bond to have been plucked from me so easily. I was not fit to rule. I was not strong enough. Take my life, Tildrum. It is your right. You must avenge your father. No, Mausinger. There will be no more needless death. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool that the, the wizard's companion is like canonical to the story, even though I got it in a DLC route. That's cool. Oh no, that's not that's not the wizard's companion. That just looks like the wizard's companion. That is my dad's diary. Sorry. Easy easy mistake to make. And this kingdom is not doomed. It will rise again. And it will do so because its people will work together to rebuild it. Cat and mouse, hand in hand. Not the humans though. Fuck the humans. My father trusted you. You cannot fail him now. Skip forward to page 126. That's where he talks about how he trusted you. It says... He believed in me. And I... What have I done? Bows and good. My dearest friend. Damn, my dad was hot as fuck, man. You... Your Majesty. I... Be still, Mousinger. I forgive you. Is, is Evan gonna get a cool beard like that when he grows up? Our two kinds have borne each other ill will since time immemorial. The rift oh, between us could not be healed so easily. Not since time immemorial, look. It was a distance that could only ever be closed one step at a time. But close it shall. One day. We will stand together, hand in hand at last, all thoughts of oppression consigned to history. And you, Mersinger, you will bring this about. You're gonna fix racism, Mersinger. But your majesty, why would you, well, why would you trust in one who had failed you so utterly? At whose hand you... <laughs> okay, so the only way I am okay with this playing out and this dude remaining as a head of state is if he becomes, like, a constituent part of Evanmore. Like, he doesn't sign the fucking Treaty of Interdependence or whatever the fuck it's called. He, like, just becomes, like... We, we like, become his suzerain. And he becomes, like, a vassal state. That's the only way I'm okay with this ending. I always trusted you, old friend, and I always will. That's why you got poisoned to death. You see far, further than I ever could. You were a maker of plans, a doer of deeds, a true ruler. A poisoner of kings. <laughs> Yet there remains in you a lingering shadow of doubt. Doubt in others born of doubt in yourself. A king must learn to trust his own judgment. A king? You mean that you, you still think me worthy? I like how, like, when we were introduced to this world, it was like the main justification for divine right to rule is that you have a giant fuck-off monster who, like, is like, yeah, no, this dude's cool. If you try to, like revolt against him, I'll fucking kill you, right? 
Like everyone, ha everyone is backed up by the fact that they're the ones that own the giant monsters, right? That's what makes, that's what gives you the right to rule. And every person we have met have lost their giant monsters and then what? No one told the population and the population is just like, ah, now he's grand. Like this is a cultural touchstone for this entire world is like, this is how ruling works. <laughs> this would be like if you went back to the Middle Ages and like categorically, objectively proved to them that there's no such thing as a god. <laughs> and they were just like, ah, yeah, but divine right to rule is grand anyway. Who better to rule over the realm I love than one who loves it just as fiercely? If it please you. Your Majesty. It does. And now, I must be on my way. Really? When next we meet, I would have you tell me the tale of a kingdom made great by its wise and benevolent ruler. Really? This dude came all the way back from the fucking afterlife as a Jedi ghost to like... He came all the way back as a force ghost to tell fucking the weasel that killed him. Ah, uh, you're grand, boy. Stop feeling, stop feeling so guilty for yourself. You're grand. It's uh, I don't even hold it against you. You're fine. Not like talk to his son who was left orphaned and doesn't have any parents and has had to build a kingdom on his own. <laughs> yes, your majesty. People keep voting in the Tories, so I'm all for divine rage at this point. <laughs> Farewell, Mousinger. I leave Ding Dong Dell in your hands. Do not fail me. Become a true king. Watch over the land we both love so well. This is such bollocks. This is the fucking speech he should be having to his fucking son. Not the dude that poisoned him to death. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh my god, is he not even going to acknowledge that Evan is there? This child is like 10 and he lost his dad. I will not fail you, old friend. Just like the, I like to imagine the scene of just like this whole impassioned speech playing out. Evan over in the corner just being like, Hello daddy, can, can, can you spend some time with me? Maybe, no, I would love to, but I have to go bang your mother in the afterlife. Goodbye, Evan. Don't be a disappointment. It's like, okay, daddy, I love you. They do not seem like father and son. They seem like ancestor and descendant. It, it feels like there's hundreds of years between Leonard and and uh, and Evan. It's just like... He didn't even talk to his son. He had one chance to come back to the corporeal plane and he didn't even talk to his one son. King oh my god. As a parent, that annoys me to no level. <laughs> that, uh... Oh, that annoys me so much. I humbly propose that a pact be made between our realms. Will you sign the Declaration of Interdependence? I hate that. It is what your father would have wanted. For our two kingdoms to stand as one. And so it shall be. Would it have been what my dad wanted? I wouldn't know because he doesn't fucking talk to me. He only ever spoke to you, his fucking lover apparently. Thank you, Your Majesty. Let us work together to make a better, more peaceful world. You have come far, son of Leonard. Am I his son? I couldn't have fucking told I couldn't have fucking told you from that interaction we had there a second ago. I will gladly stand beside you. And I will make Ding Dong Dell a kingdom where all races can stand beside one another. But not humans. The enmity of generations will divide us no longer. I salute you, Evan, Lord of Evermore. Yeah, ending, ending racism from the top down always works.
How's everyone's level doing? 67. Tiny's 68. Jesus. I remember when Tanny used to be the lowest level person in my group. As the mark of ki as for the mark of kings, I will entrust it to your keeping until such a time as the matter of the horned one has been resolved. I was gonna say who's the horned one, but the, I think I think the horned one is the guy that the snake the snake guy works for. You may have need of it yet. Thank you. I hope that I will be able to return it to you very soon. Very good. Now, I am ready when you are. Let us swear our pact. Let our nations be joined for the sake of the world. Let the banners of war ne'er again be unfurled. United, United we stand, stand as one single land. land. <laughs> it's still funny to me that they have the, like, the symbol of all of the kingmakers. <laughs> For the symbol of each kingdom, and none of their king, none of these king, only and of sure all enough, of these five kingdoms, king one of them has a kingmaker. From that day forth, no longer did Catkind cower beneath the ground in fear of tyranny. Instead, the Grimalkin stepped out into the sun and saw their brother mice as if for the first time, and the hatred that had divided them for so long melted away like so much snow well what about all not entirely but these things take time what about all of the what about all of the like foot soldiers of the dictatorship like what what about all of the like really racist mouse soldiers are they still the in the army finished evan you did it yeah i did it and we made peace with Mausinger too, which is something. Is there going to be a Truth and Reconciliation Committee, maybe? But his king's bond was stolen, and Dolorin really does mean to resurrect the Horned One. Should happen any day now. So what if he does? He'll be ready to face him. He'll overcome this trial, just like all the others. If he's like level 60-ish, yeah, I should be able to kill him. But if he's like higher than level 65, I might struggle. After all, if you can as good as unite the whole world, you can do anything. You're right. But it's not over yet. And this last part isn't going to be easy. I think they would have gotten these two children like size appropriate seats so that their legs weren't swinging over the ground. Also, the chairs are so far away from the table. Alright, that's chapter 8 done. Into chapter 9, supposedly the last chapter of this game. So either Jacob was right, and this last chapter is going to be like 50% of the game. There's five king spawns, but okay. So yeah, either the last chapter is going to be the grand majority of the game, or this last chapter is going to feel very rushed. At last, I shall have my heart's desire. So if I recall correctly, um, and Kira will probably remember this as well, from the first Nino Kuni game, um, like you get to what you think is the end, and then it's like. Gotcha, bitch! There's actually, like, an entire other chapter... There's an entire other act of this game. That was only Act 2. Now you get to fight the White Witch. I remember chatting to Kieran about that at the time, being like, Okay, well, let's let's go into tonight's stream and uh, kill the final... Kill the Dark Jin, the, the final bad guy of Nino Kuni, the Wrath of the White... White... Witch... Fuck. <laughs> We haven't even met the White Witch yet, shit. <laughs> what the flip's wrong with you, man? Pull yourself together! Chapter 9 To Be a King Isn't that a Lion King song? 
Or am I thinking of can't wait to be king? Whoa! Joe Biden is finally turning to the dark side. I mean, like, officially, like he's coming full mask off. Roland! What? The heck is going on? Uh, I'm okay. 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 I think it was just a heart attack. I'm fine. Anyway, never mind. Did you see the sky? Oh, fuck. Ugh. Batu and the others went out on patrol over that way, didn't they? Are we not going to talk about how you, there was Gosh. shadows coming out of you a second ago? <laughs> Are we not going to talk how there was darkness emanating from your chest? No, we're just going to... Okay, we're just going to gloss over that. Okay. Gosh. Yes, they did. Oh, it's coming from the sky. I expected it to come from the sea. Oh, for fuck's sake. Is it Nausicaa again? Or Nazca? Or whatever it was called in the first game? Hey look, Kirat has returned. The sea levels raise. This is what I imagine happens when Kira uses uh, exclamation mark. Kira return. It, it's torn the very sea asunder. Holy shit, is that a kingmaker? Oh fuck, lads, it's a kaiju! Look at the big hole in his belly! Is that a kingmaker? No, I'm like 90% sure that's a kaiju. It is, it's the biggest I've ever seen. I'm, I'm I'm fairly certain. I've seen I've seen Shin Godzilla. I'm pretty sure that's a kaiju. <laughs> I don't remember what the one from Gold Paul was called, but that one's called Brain Skimmer, that one's called Bastion. And that one's called Oakenheart. And with their powers combined, he gets a Ganondorf shield. Now we have to go to the four corners of Hyrule and, like, turn off all of his defenses so that we can fight him. <laughs> the Horned One has returned at last. Now the people of this pathetic world shall give their souls to bring my beloved Alessandra back to me. You're doing all of this for the... Are you doing all of this for a woman? Jesus Christ. Is he literally stealing people's souls just by existing? Little buggy wuggies. More citizens for my kingdom. More power for my king's bond. And with every soul I steal, the more glorious my realm will become. Oh, there. 
Here we are, your majesty. Back in one piece near enough. Forgive me. I am afraid we have some rather troubling news to impart. We sure do. But I think we you've probably guessed what it is. The end of the world has come. Oh, wait. Facebook posts. Bear with me. Ones to watch, Lady Trudy. The next bright star I would like you to make your the acquaintance of is the agricultural expert by the name of Lady Trudy. She burns with ambition to have the finest farm in the whole of the Five Kingdoms. And she has the verve and grit to get to make it actually happen. Given that woman's outfit and her general fashion sense, I don't think she even knows what a farm is. She looks very grand indeed. It's a fine thing to be ambitious. Now Ding Dong Dell signs up. It's hard to believe, but my sources assure me that... My sources assure me, also I have this picture. Uh, that... Evan has actually got Ding Dong Dell to sign... To join forces with him and become part of the Union. Yes, you heard that right. Evan has buried the hatchet with Mausinger and added his old kingdom to the Union. This cannot be true! So the four great kingdoms are united? Five! There's five. Why does everyone keep saying four? Yeah, technically there are five now. There are five of us. It was me that united the other four. There are five of us. Am I dreaming? King Evan is amazing. How does he do it? Does this mean there will be no more war? Yes, an era of cooperation has surely dawned. Yep, that's what happened. That's what happened here in the real world when we invented the UN. There was no more war. Seems the world is really coming together. This still hasn't quite sunk in. Joining the Union has been good for Goldfall. But what about sovereignty? What about sovereignty, though? And, like... Don't you miss having bendy bananas? And something to do with kippers? What about the NH... Ones to watch, yappy. Welcome back to my occasional look at folks with talent to spare. This time round, I would like to introduce you to yappy, a military maestro who always keeps his cool in the heart of battle. He's a real inspiration for aspiring swordsmen everywhere. Goodness, what a dashing young man. Pa, what use are good looks in battle? Yappy is a formidable fighter, I assure you. Well, either way, he is still very dashing. Truly, I am green with envy. Diary of a dating disaster. Oh my god, he... He... He imposed himself on another poor woman. I was starstruck as I approached the goddess of good luck at the Lucky Stairs Casino and asked her if I could take a picture. Her many admirers glared at me, but they needn't have... Been, have worried. She gave me my picture, but then ordered me to never speak to her again. Brilliant. Mia, this is who I want you to grow up to be. Like, dudes will come up to you and be like, my god, you're so beautiful. Can I take a picture of you? And you're like, yeah, sure. And then they take a picture of you and you're like, now never speak to me again. <laughs> and just walk away. <laughs> this, is, this is the woman I want you to grow up to be, Mia. Be like this cat lady with the eye patch. Grow up to be a cat lady with an eye patch. She has such a beautiful eye. <laughs> this lady definitely takes no nonsense. She is far more beautiful for the li she is far too beautiful for the likes of me. She is truly a paragon of canine charm. Sorry, she's a dog. Don't grow up to be a. Uh, an eye patch wearing cat lady. Grow up to be an eye patch wearing dog lady. Or in your case, donkey lady, I guess. Just riding around everywhere on a donkey. I would propose to her if I had the nerve. I would not be brave enough to speak to her. Well done for getting a picture of her. 
I am sure she is even more radiant in person. It's like an entire... It's like who... And granted, they're following a dude called the Diary of a Dating Disaster. So, you know, you get the audience you're going to get. But I, f I feel like this entire page is just followed by the most fucking incel motherfuckers I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> just like, have never spoken to a woman in their life. Terrified any time one of them comes close to them. All right. Give me your report. Hmm. So the horned one really has returned. Indeed. We encountered the creature in the skies above the blackened isle. I recorded it on a memolith. You need to see this. I already saw the cutscene. I don't need to see it again. It appeared along with a large landmass, which we can only assume to be the continent that was lost when the Horned One was sealed away. Hmm. It's enormous. Long Fang, that's what his name was. Look, it's Long Fang. Not just Long Fang, lad, the whole blessed lot are there. Brain Skimmer, Bastion, and Oakenheart, too. Tis a veritable Kingmaker's Conference. But there is something different in their bearing. These are not the true Kingmakers, they are facsimiles. Created through the power of the stolen king's bonds, I would assume. Well, whatever they are, they created some kind of barrier to protect the Horned One. Indeed, the moment the barrier was raised, the fiend began absorbing a succession of spheres of pure light. What the? Spheres of... What could they be? If you will give me a, just a moment, Roland. Scant moments after absorbing the first of these spheres, the Horned One began to expel a great cloud of black creatures. Yeah, and they went flying off in every direction. Luckily, not too many of them headed this way. Yeah, they look horrible. I love Tanny. No. And he's great. As to the nature of these spheres of light, it is my belief that they are s that they were souls, distillations of the very essence of life. The Horned One is absorbing the souls of the people of the world and transforming them, enslaving them. Oh my! That's awful. You remember what Dolaran did to Vermine, or Vermine? I think it was it was pronounced. When the life was leached from him, when he became little more than a walking corpse, this is what happens when a person's soul is stolen. No! That is not true. I played Nino Kuni 1. That is what happens when a piece of your heart is taken, not, not when you lose your entire soul. But I mean, if it... If it I imagine if you lost your entire soul, like when you lose a piece of your heart, you just become a walking zombie. I imagine if you lost all of your heart and or soul, like you would just die. And now you're saying that's happening to people all over the world, even as we speak? They're being turned into a living dead? How can we turn them back? Well. I cannot say for certain, but there must surely be a way. Hmm? And how come there is none round these parts? As have had their souls tooken, tooken hostage, I ask you. Hmm. I think we may have Lofty to thank for that. No, man. Huh? Me? I ain't done nothing, man. I not I swear. You didn't have to. What's the one thing our nation has that the others don't anymore? 
Yeah. A kingmaker. I hate that this thing is... I still hate that this thing is our kingmaker. I still hate that our kingmaker is pound shop Maggie Simpson. The bond between you and Evan is still strong. That means we're protected. Not bad, Mr. Kingmaker. Not bad. Uh-huh. In it, though. In it, though. Reckon I had a little inkling it might be something like that. Stands to reason, doesn't it? Me being all important in that. Hmm. But why has he done all this? Why would he be so desperate to bring back the horned one in the first place? Hmm. I believe I can help you. Hey, there's herself. I thought if you left your kingdom, your kingdom would explode. Oh. Your Majesty. You must forgive the intrusion, Evan. Circumstances being what they are. Not at all. You're very welcome. No. On the subject of who Doloran is and what exactly he might want, I believe I have some information that may clarify things a little further. You couldn't give me that information like ages ago before I went to Broadleaf? 2,000 years ago, he was the ruler of a nation known as Allegoria. I think I know about Allegoria. I think Allegoria was like one of the nations in... You know, Kuni won. And he made a pact with the Horned One. Though his was a small and insignificant kingdom, by enlisting the aid of such a kingmaker, he thought to make Allegoria great, to bend his singular evil, this singular evil to his will. Hmm. That tallies with what Niall told us. Back when we first learned about Dalaran. But things did not go according to plan. Instead, a terrible tragedy befell the realm. Far from growing great, it disappeared from the world entirely. It is believed that he was unable to contain the fiend's all-consuming corruption, and that the entire continent Allegoria stood upon was spirited away to a place between worlds. Mm. Whatever happened, Doloran would appear to be determined to retrieve this vanished land. What? But why? Why would he want to bring it back after all these years? I don't know, but... I think I understand why he needed all those king's bonds now. Without them, he couldn't hope to control something so powerful. Well, whether we're whether we've an inkling as to why or not, I say the swab's wish is more than a little close to coming true. Twas a kingdom-sized chunk of land appeared outside that great creature. That's for certain. But if Dolaran's what he wanted. Why would he be stealing everyone's souls? He needs followers. Subjects. The more powerful he grows, the more powerful his kingmaker grows in turn. And one whose ambitions stretch as far as enlisting the aid of such an utterly evil being will surely not be satisfied with merely recovering his lost realm. No. Now that he has the means at his command, it would seem he intends to bring all the peoples of the world under his dark dominion. So he wants to take over the whole world? Well, we can't let him. We won't! Yeah. And how exactly are we supposed to stop him? You saw the size of that mountain of spikes he calls a kingmaker, didn't you? Mm. There is one possibility. 
Mornstar. Ah, Mornstar! I remember Mornstar. Mornstar was a wand from the first game that was OP as fuck. That thing, like, was... Oh my god, that wand was so strong. <laughs> that wand let me, like, one-shot dudes with a basic attack that I previously used to have to, like, pummel with, like, special spells for, like, two or three minutes. <laughs> Mornstar was so strong. And I think, if I recall correctly, I could upgrade. I could upgrade Mornstar in the first game to make it even stronger. It was like ridiculous by the end of the game. Sword, sword. Mornstar is a wand. I used Mornstar in in the first Dino Kuni game. It's a wand, not a sword. The sword said to have sealed away the Horned One, the Horned One's evil, all those centuries ago. Mornstar? Alas, its whereabouts are no longer known. But yet there is time. The great evil gathers its forces still. If the sword can be found before it reaches its full strength, we may yet stand a chance. But how do we find it if nobody knows where it is? Oh, indeed. Any tale two millennia in the making will almost certainly be more fantasy than fact by now. And surely no records from the time remain. 2,000 years, huh? I think we might know just where to find records from that far back, don't you, Evan? Oh, um... <gasps> of course! The library in Goldpool! Uh -huh. You're right. If anything from back then did survive, you can bet Bodley will know about it. And it seems we have a plan of action. We'll inform the rulers of the other kingdoms of all that has come to pass. We will rally them to the cause and make ready to take the Horned One by force. You will seek out further clues as to Moonstar's whereabouts. All right. Very well. Until we meet again. I'm surprised she left without making out with Leander. Let's see now. Right though, off we go. Going back to Ding Dong Dell. Ever since King Leonhard was overthrown. I have been playing my trade in Cloud Coil Canyon, but finally it seems I can return to Ding Dong Dell. I would like to thank all of my loyal Cloud Coil Canyon customers. I hope you'll pay me a visit at Swift Solutions. Kitty baiting has been... Oh no. Oh no, what was kitty baiting? Kitty baiting has been banned. At long last, the Grimmel Key. Is kitty baiting just like. I, I'm trying to imagine what kitty baiting is, and I can't, I can't for the life of me think of what it might be. At long last, the Grimmel Kin are free to walk around without fear of being attacked. I will never forget what Mosinger did to King Leonhard, but if Evan can forgive him, then perhaps one day I can too. Finally, I can go back to my home. There are even Grimalkin guards now. There were Grimalkin, there were Grimalkin guards when the dictatorship was in place. He's still a fascist, like just because he's friend. Just because the world, just because the world war is over, doesn't mean Francisco Franco is a nice guy. Does, does this mean the kingdom's safe to visit? Of course it is. We are not at war, you know. Maybe you can forgive Mosinger, but I can't. I like that guy. Whoever it is that can't forgive Mosinger, I like that guy. Is the end nigh? Did you see what I just saw? This huge thing just fell from the sky. I don't know about you, but I've got a bad feeling about this. Just when things were looking up for the world. Felt the ground shake. What is happening? Seem to fall into the ocean. Whatever it is, I can see it from here. What's going on? Someone? Anyone? 
This is totally freaking me out. Could this really be the end? We're doomed. Doomed, I tell you. As soon as anybody hears more, post it here. This had to happen on my day off. <laughs> well. Leander, are those horrible things really the people of Allegoria? Well, there is nothing in the historical record to suggest that the kingdom's subject lo subjects look this way. I strongly su suspect that the dark power of the Horned One is warping their appearance. <sighs> Back to the library, huh? Which means more searching through stone tablets. <laughs> Just thinking about moving those things around makes my arms tired. Why did they have to write that stuff on these lumps of rock anyhow? And I heard they're still doing it too. What's wrong with paper? Hmm. Char, I suppose the good folks of Goldpaw like their writing to be done on stone. Seems a good idea to me. I have an awful habit of tearing any piece of paper I ever try to write on. Mind you, them stone tablets ain't d indestructible neither. Why, I could smash one of the blessed things the smithereens with one hand. <sighs> uh, feel free to hang back here, tough guy. <sighs> Who is the horned one as evil as they come? I don't know how we managed to earn a reputation like that, but I ain't mad keen on finding out neither. Rise of the Horned One. The hell of a name for a chapter. I have money to collect and god knows I'm going to need it because I'm probably going to have to build a load of buildings if I expand this kingdom again. Half member knows metaphysicality. Half member knows expert's instinct. Is a master of experts instinct. I assume the two of those people are over here. Yeah, more well, my experts instincts people are over here. All right, let's run around the place, see who has uh, quests for us, and then we will. Uh, Look at the map and see what the map looks like now that there's a giant continent on the world that used to be there. Hey. Hey, Evan. You haven't seen Newbie around the place anywhere, have you? Not exactly. Newbie? Why? Is everything alright? Hmm. Uh, not really. Something kind of bad happened. So, I was talking to this guy about weapon tech and stuff, and I happened to mention the kind of work we can and can't give newbie. Turns out he was listening and the next thing I knew he ran off without saying a word. Yeah. I don't know what he thought he heard. Anyhow, ever since he's he's been acting really weird, like super cold. I'll just be like, hi, and then he's all like, whatever, man. <laughs> I'm sure it's all just some stupid misunderstanding, but I can't fix things until I know what's going on with him, you know? Ah, office politics. Oh dear. Perhaps I should go and talk with him. Thanks. You'd do that? Oh man, if you could. That'd really be helping me out. Thanks, Your Majesty. Oh, I got three dream prisms out of this. Thanks, man. Hello? Hello, by God. What are you up to? Hmm. I came to collect the latest piece of armor that 
We sent to Fido to be repaired, but the foolish boy is nowhere to be seen. Just where has he disappeared to? Hmm. Him and the uh, newbie are in the fields, in the fields making out. Oh, I'm sure he hasn't gone far. Let me go and look for him. Oh. Thank you, Your Majesty. He is really nothing but trouble, that grandson of mine. I'm so glad I didn't have a grandfather like him. Well, I was going to say I'm, I'm really glad I didn't have a grandfather like him, but I did have a grandfather like him. It's just I didn't like spend much time with that prick. I spent time with my grandfather that was a... the grandfather that was like a good person. <sighs> another arrow came for you today. Evan lad. Hmm? You mean another message from Tyron? Uh... Aye lad, time was you'd have asked me if I was unhurt. Seems we've all grown used to the swab's foolish rigmarole. <sighs> oh, I'm ever so sorry, Chingus. I didn't mean to seem uncaring. It's just that, well, you seem fine. You're not actually hurt, are you? Yeah. Nay, lad. Well, well, that's a relief. I'm glad I was able... I was right about that, at least. Yay, hey, hey. Look, never mind all that. Let's have a read of it, shall we? Dear Mr. Imposter, it's finally time for me to take Evanmore off you and turn it into the lucky country it was supposed to be all along. Why, you ask? Because some other bandits nicked our base and now we're flaming homeless. Sleeping outside is well cold. So now we're going to have one last fight with you lot and settle down and be all peaceful. You ain't the only one who can live happily ever after, mate. And you ain't gonna neither. Prepare to be cobbled. Tyron, the real king of the Heartlands. Mm. Oh dear. If they've just lost their home, they'll be in no shape to be fighting, surely. Poor Tyron. Don't be going all soft in the swab just yet, your majesty. Some homeless bandits is desperate bandits. And there ain't no telling what a desperate man will do. Anyway, you know the drill by now. I've posted a sentry outside the castle walls. Go and see what he has to say about how it's looking out there. Thank you. I'll do that right away. Thanks for all your help, Chingus. So, for anyone curious, this is what like the f i think this is the fifth time i've had to fight this tyne tyron dude he shows up every once in a while he tries to evade the kingdom i beat the shit out of him and then he's like ah you bollocks i'll get you next time and then he blasts off into space and uh it seems someone stole his home I wonder, and instead of reflecting on that and being like, oh god, I was trying to steal someone else's home. Having your home stolen is a terrible thing. What have I, what have I been doing all of my life? Instead of reflecting on himself like that, he's, he's uh, gone down the route of like, that bollocks, it was his fault my home got stolen. I'm going to fucking steal his home now and see how he, <laughs> see how he likes it. Hello. Hello, Price. How's everything going? Not so bad, I guess. Trevor Broadleaf is booming right now, which is kind of fun. Yep. Oh, speaking of Broadleaf, I have good news and bad news. Which do you want first? Gosh. Gosh. Um, the good news, I, I think? All right, here goes. I found a way we can get a hold of a super cool Broadleaf ink component for free. That's wonderful. Uh, and the... Bad news? Yeah, that. Well, if we want it, we'll need to go find it. So, it fell out of an airship that was being transported in... that it was being transported in somewhere over the desert. Are we really, as a kingdom, going to get our future tech from, ah, uh, fell out the back of a truck? That seems a bit dodgy. It was something to do with perpetual fission. It was something to do with the perpetual fission reactor, so now the project's been shelved. Broadleaf Inc. doesn't need it anymore. 
which is why I thought we could claim it for Evanmore. Nobody over at Broadleaf Mines I already checked. Mm. How exciting! I'll start looking into it right away. <laughs> thought you'd say that. You're a good kid, Evan, and a good king too. So yeah, all we know is that it's out in the desert someplace. I don't have any more detail than that, sorry. Guess I'll just have to head out. Guess you'll just have to head out that way and keep your eyes peeled. Jacob, wasn't there, uh, wasn't there like a particular song that you liked? Thanks very much. Remember, I am always happy to perform for you. If your ears ever crave a particular piece, you will need only say the word. Hey there. Eh. Uh, Goodbye. So, I, I don't think it was last stream, maybe the stream before, you said there was a, there was a, there was some music in this game that you really liked, and then I was like, oh, here's the soundtrack, but I don't think it's on the soundtrack, which means this dude probably doesn't have it. It's like one of the battle teams or something, I think, that you liked, I can't hey remember. There. I'll play all of the ones I, I'll play all of the ones I have and see if any of them, like, are interesting to you. I was just enjoying jamming. I didn't want to find it outside the game. That's fair, okay. I will bother looking for it then. You? Oh, hi. Hi. Oh. Alright there, Evan. Would you like to hear a wee tale that'll put a smile mm -hmm. on your face? Oh yes, absolutely. Aye, of course you would. This is near the police for it, though. Let's go somewhere more, uh, <laughs> private, eh? So, what's this story of yours, Niall? <laughs> you, you will never believe this, Evan, but I won some kind of, some kind of a prize. Look, I got this letter about you today. Dear Niall, of the Forest of Nile. Congrats, mate! You've been selected from a pool of thousand to win a top prize. Just come down to the Mugsboro and bring this letter as proof. Looking forward to seeing you! Gosh! Gosh, that's wonderful, Nile. Congratulations! Hey, that is! There's just one wee problem, though. These old moons of mine are stiff as anything right now. I can't it is possibly make it all the way out there and back. You think you could maybe go in the police? Uh, Listen, Niall, I um, I don't want to burst your bubble, but I'd ignore that letter if I were you. I've seen this kind of scam a thousand times. Hi. Hey, but what if it isn't a scam, eh? I'm not gonna miss a chance to claim my praise! Of course, I know there's a chance it's dodgy. But it's a chance I'm willing to take, especially if you're the one taking the chance for me. What do you say, Evan? Will you help out? Will you help me out, laddie? To be honest, I'm rather curious to see if this prize is real myself. Let's go and find out, Roland. Well, it's your funeral. Guess I can't hurt to go take a look. Oh, cool, we're gonna get Greenling Garb. Tight. I always love getting new outfits. Wait, this dude is our... This dude is our Minister of Finance? The dude that lives in a tree is our Minister of Finance. Oh, Jesus Christ. The dude that lives in a tree is our Minister of Finance and he falls for scams like this. Ugh. Then again, I'm I'm living in a country where my fucking the head of the head of my government is a fella that thought COVID nineteen was the nineteenth time we'd gotten COVID. So, I 
I guess I can't throw stones from this glass house. to do the thing I swore I'd never do on uh, a stream and we're going to do a bit of a, a skirmish but skirmishes have become a lot easier for me I've, I've my dudes are basically unbeatable at this point <gasps> King Evan this is terrible Tyron and his men are attacking again but there's something different about them this time they look like they really mean business he did say he was going to make this his last big battle we'd better make sure we're ready for this one our forces are all set, your majesty. We're ready to move out yes. on your command. Let's hope we can drive them away for good and bring peace to Evermore. Alright, what level is this? Recommended level 51. I think my dudes are like level 51-ish. What level are my guys? Level 46. Uh, yeah, we give it a go. We give it a go, sure. We'll bolster the forces. Give it a go, see how we get on. <laughs> Just goodbye to Evermore, Kittykins. They'll be calling. Mm. We'll see about that, Tynan. I have a feeling of. Good luck, troops! Some pointy years, I'm not gonna go. <laughs> Here come the excuses. Former Square oh, can't afford right. to lose. Advance. Chai, but I just can't do this anymore. I'm getting huh. oh, and clean, you flaming traitor. What about our plan? Yeah. Come on, man. The jig's up. Ever, even your own men want to fucking do this anymore. Jesus. Ready? It's now or never. I think I'm gonna go. Guns overlooking their camp. I'll leave this in your hands. Oh shit, how did I miss this guy? This is at my strength. <laughs> oh, 
But yeah, as I said, skirm skirmishes these days are kind of not really a thing anymore. They'll be singing me name over this. Heaven, what is more where that came from? Now's our chance. That was too easy. Now's our chance. We can't afford to lose. Hi. Don't get the wrong idea, Drongos. You ain't beating me. Flippin' act, man. Flippin' act. If you can't even come up with a decent excuse no more, where do you bother? Get in! That's good oh, luck, Trix. Yes! Good luck, Trix. Also, I like how typically for me... I've only I've only remembered what the thing is that lets me like on accident in this one I discovered how to like make my dude super strong just by pressing the the Y button, which is something I had forgotten in the previous uh, all of the previous iterations when I did this shit off stream. Come me, curse you! You ain't beating me, in fact, you ain't never gonna beat me. Hmm. Fair dues, man. Sounded a bit more heroic than the usual rubbish you come up with. Hey there! Oh, shitty as a dragon! Your Majesty, an Incineraptor raptor has been sighted in the north. It's heading directly for Evanmore. What? An Incinera- Oh, come on, Evan! We've defeated loads of these things during skirmishes. Crikey! It sounds serious, man. Let's forget Tynan for the minute. What's the big idea? What's your relation, you thing with scaly creeps? But you're floating Tunkin. Tyrant's actually trying to save us. I think we better give him a hand, Lofty. Hi! Where is he? Advance! Excuse me! Oh. Don't let them get away! Hold the X button until he's dead. Come on, get him before he goes back in the air. Okay. Yes! We did it, we beat the Incineraptors. There was only one of them, Evan. It's truth. Crikey! Old Tyron looks like he's been in the wars. He has been in the wars. He's been in several wars, specifically against us. Like the fifth war he's been in against us. Ah. No. No. This ain't right. I was robbed. Them dragons hadn't come along. Your kicking kingdom wouldn't have been would have been mine, lad. I was beating the absolute piss out of you. At no point we did you have the upper hand. A kingdom, of me own, a kingdom of me own where all the world's hard nuts and ruffians could live together in peace. You said this was your last fight, Tyron. Well, it is. All this nonsense about taking over my kingdom ends here. Huh. Rock off, mate. I'm a bandit. You can't tell me what to do. You can't. You're not my real dad. You don't get to tell me what I, can, what I can't steal. You just wait, kittykins. Next time I'm going to finish this and then... I will be the real king of the heartlands. Huh. I genuinely thought this was going to be the last one and that this time I, he would like come to me and I would just be like, look, lad, you can stay here. If you, you can live in Evermore if you want, but like, just don't steal things. It's coming back again. I don't believe it, man. Surely we've knocked the fight out of him and his pals by now. Hmm. You know... I've never... I've been thinking. Maybe fighting is the only thing Tyron and the other bandits have in their lives. You went wrong there. It's certainly all I've ever seen them do, man. 
they've never looked they've never looked like the sorts who could have a nice chin wag with still i do wish i'd find they find someone else to keep having a pop at i mean it's not like you need the you need more practice anymore oh oh well thank you lofty i think Cool. Right. Guess we'll do a bit of side quests then. Actually, what is the main quest? The main quest is go talk to Bodley, right? Uh, what are the side quests do? Component has dropped in the desert. Yeah. I don't think I've ever shown you guys what the desert looks like. Let's go hang out in the desert. The desert is one of those... Oh. Oh, I said I would look at the map. That is not a continent. Also, it is Nazca. It's, it's the same kingdom from the first game. That is not a continent. That is like... That's not even Australia size. That is like Greenland size. That is that is not a continent. The blackened oil. Get out of here. It is a very big island, sure. It's not even that big of an island. It's like It's like Britain sized. I expected that place to be a lot bigger. I mean, when you describe something as a continent, you expect it to have a certain kind of heft to it. Oh, there it is. You obtained a hyper clear industrial prism. So what do you want me to do now? Give the hyper clear industrial prism to price. Okay. What's he going to be able to do with a hyper clear industrial prism? Also, what makes a prism industrial? Hello. Hello, Prince. Price. Whatever. This is what you were looking for. We found it out in the desert. Hey! Oh, hyperclear industrial prism. Man, this is awesome. Prisms this pure are like super rare. Yep. The guys in research are going to go crazy when I show them this. Thanks for going to all the trouble, man. Thank you. No, thank you for telling us where to find it. It was lots of fun. It wasn't that much fun. I just flew there and picked it up. Alright, well if the rest of the quests are that fucking quick, I should be able to get these out of the, out of the way really quickly. I want that Greenling Garb. Oh, this one's also in the desert. Okay. Oh, shit, that's not right. Fuck. Press the wrong button. What's this place called? It was like Mug's Cave or something. There it is. What's this place called? Mug's Burrow? Because it's a, it's a burrow where mugs go to get their all their fucking money stolen. But I'll get Greenling Garb out of it. Oh look, there's some kind of note here. Thanks for coming, mate. We prepared a, bron a bronzer Oi. surprise. Ah, a surprise. Oh, well. Doesn't like surprises. I like how Roland is just going through with this, just being like, this is such a scam, I... <laughs> I can't believe we're following through with this. 
Hey, Evan, look, another note. Congrats, mate. You chose the lucky note. Now your praise Blimey. will be even better. No, oh, that's amazing. Our luck cert <laughs> looks oh. certainly great today. How exactly have we picked up the lucky note if we're the only one here? wonder is there a way in the system menu to make those text boxes go slower? Um... Voice volume... Screen size... No. Character... Control, yeah, just controls. Eh, nothing that I could see that would like make text boxes go faster or slower. Oh, oh another note, look. Hurry up. The present. Let's have it! Wait, man, I can hardly contain my excitement. What's the phrase gonna be? Hey. Okay, seriously, it's time to turn back. Now you can't, you're walking straight what into a trap. The? Turn back, have you lost your mind? You see what the note said? There's a present up ahead. Oh, cool. I got a rugged spud. <laughs> Good day, Drongo. Nice, to, nice of you to draw by. Oh. Who, who said that? Time for you to get your prize. It's something you royally deserve, mate. A club, the clobbering of a lifetime. I hate to say I told you. Well, no, that's a lie. I like saying I told you so. Mm -hmm. Oi, hold on a flame a minute. Where's Nile? Listen, you. Never mind that. Where's your flipping praise? What? Seriously? Dude, there was never a goddamn prize. That much has been obvious from the start. Wow. Talk about a strike of luck. We were hoping to squeeze a few bob out of your finance minister. But now we gotta... We get the party with our king himself. Let's grab him, boys. Yeah! Grab him on his We'd better not get duped and captured on the same day, Evan. Time to stand and fight. Mm. Y you're right. Come on, everyone. I guess we'll kill Come these on. people. Ah, uh, these people are getting fucked up. That wasn't even close. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That was kind of sad. <gasps> oh, I put Niall in the other camp. He used to be up north of here, but now he's down kind of like the middle area. There he is. Eh? What's with a long face, eh? Did you need to get me praise? Um... Oh, no, we didn't. Let's go and talk about it in the throne room, shall we? Uh -huh. Turns out I was right. Shocker. The letter, the prize, whole thing was a scam. What? what? Get a chew in! Mm-hmm. Yeah, I am. I'm really not joking. Uh, still, I guess it was a good experience for Evan. I can't see him getting fooled like this again. But uh, you really should know better at your age now. <sighs> I, I can't even believe it. Still, no point in crying over spilt milk, eh? Anyway, I just had another letter. Someone's found a hidden cache of priceless antiques, and they're willing to offer it to me for a special discount. What the? Seriously? Seriously. 
Help my Bob! Oh, no, you don't think, Jinx. I nearly got diddled again. Oh, that's not that's not the word you want to use. Can we not? Can we use a different word than diddled? Mm. You need to be careful not to get tricked like this in the future. Seriously, how is this dude our minister of finance? My God. All right, who was it that got the equipment? Was it you? No. You? No. You? Ah, it was her. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that. Oh, I much prefer that. So this, so this, the harpist's costume is the the. Um, this is the costume of the female character from the first game, the female party member from the first game. But like, look at this. This looks fucking dope. That's a great color scheme as well. Oh, that looks really cool. Oh, I love that outfit. That's a great outfit for her. I kind of wanted, I wanted the outfit for Evan, but like, you know, at least it's gone on a, man, a member of like my active party instead of like going to fucking Leander or something. A gruff, gruff granddad. Go talk to Fido. Where is Fido? He's over there. So when I go to teleport in my own kingdom, I'm assuming when I, like, upgrade the kingdom to the next level, it'll be so big that I'll need a third, uh, or, like, a technically a second, um, teleport point, but I don't have that yet, so. I guess we're running across the entire damn kingdom. Ah, there you are. Oh, King Evan, d d don't worry. I, I will be returning to work right away. My gun's waiting for you, you know. What? M my grandfather? Oh, no. I knew it. I knew my armor would displease him. He must be furious. Oh, I cannot face him. I simply cannot. Oh, don't worry, Fido. I am sure it will be fine. I was a failure as a soldier, and now I have proven myself to be a failure as an armorer. No wonder my grandfather is angry at me. Please, your majesty, I cannot go back and face him now. Um. Will you tell him for me? Please, tell him I am indisposed. Alright. Look at me, king of the mightiest nation in the world, also part-time fucking telegram boy. Hello. Hello, Bygone. I'm afraid Pido is, um, indisposed at the moment. Oh. Brr, typical foolish young pop. He thinks I am angry at him, does he not? Oh, how did you know that? Right. I know my grandson well enough. He has always lacked faith in himself. I do not come to rage at him, quite the opposite, in fact. His work is very impressive indeed. In fact, my men refuse to have their armor seen their armor seen to by anybody else. This is why I came to visit him personally. I thought I should let him know how well I thought he was doing. Goodness. A soldier's armor becomes part of him, you see. Yeah, because of all the like times it gets beaten into him, right? Over time, it becomes impossible to tell where the man ends and the armor begins. Again, that's another one of those kind of statements where I'm i am sure you mean it in a nice way in that like, oh yeah, they're like, they're like one and the same, but it kind of just draws up images to me of like someone being mangled on the battlefield and their metallic armor being beaten into their body to the point that it's like, biting into their flesh. We established this. You are only a figurehead now. Plenty of time to go adventuring and deliver mail at telegrams. <laughs> mm, a 
of course, most are too embarrassed to admit that. To admit the extent to which they rely on the work of craftspeople like my grandson. Gosh, he really has to hear this. You wouldn't believe how badly he's got the wrong end of the stick. He is still young. Little more than a pup. The more I think about it, the more I believe it would be better for you to tell him this. You too are young. He will listen. If he sees me, he will simply run with his tail be between his legs. And if you do not mind, could you please take him three bowls of cuddly warm cotton as well? He will understand its significance. Cuddly warm cotton. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Telegram boy and postman. First wild king. Figurehead of the Evan Moore dynasty. <laughs> I wonder if my grandfather is still waiting for me. I am sure that he is. He is far too stubborn to give up and go home. Hello. Great news, Fido. Your grandfather's not angry at you at all. R really? N no, I, I do not believe you. He was merely pretending for your benefit, your majesty. As soon as he sees me, he is sure to erupt with fury once again. He really won't, I promise. In fact, he's got something very important to tell you. <sighs> King Evan, it's it has been so long, I I feel that I would be that it would be better now if we were to not meet at all. Oh. Oh, I almost forgot. He asked me to give you this. Cuddly warm cotton. Grandfather always used to use this to polish his armor. So that's it. Yeah. I spent so much time with him as a young pup. I would sit with him as he polished his armor, listening to his stories. There was a famous armor in Goldpaw back then. My grandfather would always clean his armor before taking it to him to have improvements made. A soldier grows to become par. A soldier's armor grows to become part of him over time. That is what he used to say. And the man who makes his armor become his brother. But he truly seemed to mean it. He was never a sentimental man, but his bond with his armor was as true as and was a true and deep one. Yeah. In fact, that is why I sought to become an armor myself. I think I have always known that I could never I could have never been a soldier. But I loved him and respected him so. I wish to have the same bond that he had with his, with this man, if I could. <laughs> I had completely forgotten this. Thank you, Evan. You have reminded me of exactly why I decided that armor making was my true calling. I must return to my workshop right away. Mm. That's wonderful to hear, Fido. Uh -huh. But I, I must confess that I am still a little frightened of him. Would you, would you mind coming with me? What? Really? I mean, I don't mind, of course, but you don't need to be frightened, I promise. I feel like they didn't need to make the distance between these two points so long. Thanks. You have done my grandson a great service, King Evan. Thank you. And thank you for giving him the cuddly warm cotton, too. <laughs> You're welcome, bygone. I'm just glad you have your friends again. So? There it was actually another reason why I came here. Another thing I wish to discuss with Fido. He has become a fine armorer, as you know. But there is still room to improve. The only way this will happen, however, however is if he is exposed to pieces of unsurpassed quality. For example, some warlord's armor of grade 8 or higher. If my grandson were to spend some time studying a piece such as that, he would learn a great deal, I am certain. Mm. I see. Then I'd better go find one for him. Uh, do me a favor. Thank you, Your Majesty. Fido holds you in a very highest regard, you know. It would mean a great deal to him if you were to present him with the armor yourself. Alright. I don't think I have the armor, so I guess I'll make it. What was it? Warlord's armor, I think he said? 
Warlord's Armor, Grade 8. There you go. Warlord's Armor, Grade 8. And I can't give it to anyone, because I need it for a quest, even though it's better than most of the armor I have. What is it, Your Majesty? Oh, you say that my grandfather asked you to bring me something? He's literally standing like a foot away from you, dude. You heard what he asked me to bring you. This is what my grandfather asked you to bring me? Mm. That's right. He thought you might be able to learn a lot by studying it. I see. Thanks. Thank you, Your Majesty, for everything. There is not a day that goes by when I do not feel blessed to have had the opportunity to come to your kingdom. Thanks to you, I feel that I am closer to realizing my dream than ever before. And to my grandfather, too. I will not let you down, either of you. <laughs> I know you won't, Fido. You've changed so much since I first met you. It's wonderful to see. I have no idea what Evan is talking about. That child was a coward when I met him, and he's a coward now. For a second, I'll be right back. Okay. So, newbie's crisis of confidence. We have to go find this fella. All right, he is over the other side of town. He is my uh, chief weapon maker. Uh, the chief weapon, chief weapon maker, and the chief armor are uh, intrinsically connected. And one of them is having a crisis of conscience, the other one does, because they're like rivals or something, I know. Ah! Oh. Ah, there you are. What are you doing all the way out here, newbie? <laughs> Oi! K King Evan? I, I am just examining the, um, soil here. I am thinking about how various metals are formed and so on. But why? Do, do you need something? Um... Not really. It's just, well... I've been speaking to Brody. Something happened between you two. Brody? Uh, oh. No, no, nothing. It's, it's simply that, well... I was under the impression that he considered me an equal... fellow weapon maker, but... Seems I was wrong. You see, I heard him speaking about me with one of his friends. He said I was not to be allowed to work on a certain weapon. He's just a kid, man. That's what he said. Oh. I see. Hmm. Brody always praises me to my face, but I have never learned that his true opinion of me. I have never learned that his true opinion of me is rather different. You don't know that for sure, newbie. Perhaps he meant something different. But... I understand how you feel. Thank you for telling me. I'd better go and see what Brody has to say about this. The joys of middle management. Wait, aren't I supposed to be a king? Hmm. Well, Brody... I've spoken to New B. He's upset because you said he's not allowed to work on certain weapons. Did you say that? That he couldn't work on certain things because he's a child? Listen, New B's a great kid. He's super passionate, and his skills are way better than most of the guys with years of experience. And it's not just me saying that, by the way. Everybody in the industry says he's an awesome talent. Which is why there's no way I'd ever put him in any danger. Oh. Danger? Yeah. Yeah. Some of our work involves a lot of fumes. Dog folk have super sensitive lungs. And he's a kid besides. There's no way I can let him do that stuff. That's what I meant when I said he was just a kid. 
nothing to do with his talent. I just didn't want him getting hurt. I guess I can understand why he took it the wrong way, though. Classic kind of, I apologize that you got offended by what I said. <laughs> Not that I apologize for what I said, no, I, ap I apologize that you took it the wrong way, I guess. <laughs> so this is all a big misunderstanding. I knew it. We've got to set things straight, Brody. Totally. But before you do that, oh, um... I hate to ask you this, but uh, I need another favor. You know the work I was talking about before, like with the fumes? I am also a child, Brody, and I am a cat boy. Remember those two things before you ask me your question. Well, there's a way to make it safe, even for newbie. He just needs to wear a mask made of frosty fluff cotton. That way, he won't be breathing in any of the bad stuff. Problem is, I'll clean out, and I'm too busy to go get some. You go get it for me, and then take it to New B and explain the whole situation. Of hey. course, I'll go and find some right away. I, Jesus. I mean, granted, Kirat, I get it. I'm just a figurehead, but Jesus, I'm being walked all over here. I'm like a welcome mat. Thanks. You'll probably need about three clumps of the stuff just to be safe. Let me know how it goes, okay? You people need to learn how to deal with your own goddamn problems. Brody was not... was not angry at me, was he? I'm rather frightened to ask him directly. Hmm? Hmm? What is this? Mm -hmm. Brody told me to give it to you. You just need to make a face mask out of it, and you'll be allowed to work on the weapon he was talking about. But when Brody said you were just a child, it didn't have anything to do with your weapon making abilities. He just didn't want you breathing any of your dangerous fumes, that's all. Uh... So Brody was... He was worried about me? Oh, I have been a fool. I must go and speak with him right away. I must apologize. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like you've sorted out that little misunderstanding. Let's head back to the workshop and make sure we're all friends again. Hey there. Hey there, your majesty. Thanks for all your help. Now newbie's got his mask, he can work on the weapon I was talking about. He'll have mastered it in no time, too. That's wonderful news. Excuse me. Now, I know you've done a lot for me already, but I have at least one teeny tiny favor. I have one last teeny tiny favor to ask. That kid needs to be constantly challenged, man. He needs to be looking at the high grade weapons like the whole time so he can always be learning. So I was thinking if you handed one over, being the king and all, he'd pay extra special attention. Golly. Another request. Golly. Yeah. I would really... It'd be really great if you could bring a radiant blade of grade 8 or higher to the little guy. He could learn a lot from studying a piece like that. Uh... I th think Evan has a radiant blade? It's only rank 7, though. And that one's rank 1. Okay. We'll make a Radiant Blade rank 8, I guess. Wait, where are the Radiant Blades? Oh, sh shit. Can I not make Radiant Blades? Fuck. Can I improve the one I have? Check Frost's Playground. Ok, 
Okay, so it's rank eight now, right? Whoa. Your Majesty, what have you... Is that for me? To look. To look at. I need this weapon. This is my weapon. Hmm. Um, I think Brody asked me to find a Radiant Blade of Grade 8. Oh, hi, uh, I, I, have I misunderstood something? No, 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 please. Sorry, Fido, my mistake. Just uh, wait a little longer. It's New B, not Fido, you racist bastard. I would imagine Fluttershy holds doormat classes weekly in the New Republic. <laughs> she is the Minister of Dormattery. Uh, uh, whoa. Uh, incredible! Just look at it! Will I ever be able to make something like this, I wonder? Mm. Brody certainly seems to think so. That's why he asked me to give it to you. In fact, he seems to think you can make something even better. Then I must try to do so. Though, I thought my career as a weapon maker was over when my grandmother passed away, but I have learned so much since coming here. Thanks. This country, and you, your majesty, have done so much to help me realize my dreams. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Not at all, newbie. I just can't wait to see the legendary weapon when you're finally ready to make it. You and Fido can do it. I know you can. Okay, cool. I got to hold on to my weapon. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. I got to hold on to my weapon. It's fine. I thought he was going to steal my weapon there for a second. Ooh, honorable fish fork. Cursing soul shaker. Blighted steel thunder. First reduced to the damage dealt a fair bit. Okay, I have to uncurse this. Is there a worse one? The queasy full Morax. Okay, time to go down to the. Uh, no. There really needs to be. Like, there really needs to be a walkway between this part of the town and the main part of the town, bar just that one fucking main entrance. Down here. Up these big steps. Up these slightly smaller steps, up these even smaller steps. Hello there. I would like you to uncurse this, please. Very good. Thank you. Place your fate in my hands. How much money do I have? Twenty-two thousand? I could uncurse all of these things. I want to uncurse all of these things is the question. Wow, that's a lot of cursed fucking ranged weapons I have. Place your fate. May fortune follow you always. Thank you. Right. Okay, so that weapon that I uncursed was entirely pointless. How about the bow that I uncursed? Also entirely pointless. Cool. That was a waste of money. 
What other quests do I have? Nothing. Look for the details of the sword in, in gold paw. Alright, set the gold paw. Anyone who uh, doesn't want to be traumatized by having to listen to Bodley should probably listen. Should probably leave soon. Log number twenty-six. Trouble afoot. Dalaran finally surfaced, and he's wreaking havoc on the world. He's reawakened a creature known as the Horned One, and is stealing people's souls en masse, turning them into empty husks. I'd say it felt like a movie, but no, no, this feels all too real. All right, this is your final chance to leave before I do the Bodley voice. Excuse me? Madam Bodley, there was something I was hoping to ask you. Hmm? Mm? Well, if it isn't my love, my little lovely wubblies. <laughs> Bodley has been waiting for you. What is it there is? Mm? What is... what's that now? Bookie Wookies from 2,000 years ago? Ridiculous! Impossible! No such Bookie Wookies exist! How could they too long ago to musty all fallen apart, yes? Oh. Oh. Well, I guess we need a better plan. Oh, Brian died. Bodley, more like Babely, am I? Uh, Jacob, remind me about that in the Discord. I will fix that after the stream. Sorry about that. I will also, uh, also remind me to refund you those points. Well, if they're not here, I suppose they won't be anywhere. No, no. Bookie Wookies? No. But Stony Puff? Oh, yes. Just one, a strange, flat, cold old thing from way back then. Huh. Really? Strange how? You'll see, pretty man. You'll see soon enough. Oh, yes. Bodley will be in the alcove over there, dearies. Uh, come along now. Oh, yes. Here, dearie, strange old, awful old, silly old stone. Well, now, an old stone tablet, eh? Don't look like much to me. Hmm. Look closer. The engravings. These are no ordinary letters. At least, none that I am familiar with. Is it some kind of code? Hmm. Thought of that silly girl. Tried every trick in the book. No good, no good, no good. Couldn't read a word, hmm? Shame, too. From same time as Mornstar. Might tell more of Sacred Sword, hmm? If I may be so bold. If it is not a code or a cipher, then perhaps it is magic that prevents the words from being read? Yes. Magic, he says. Interesting, intriguing, yes, yes. And there was silly old Bodley turning it turning it every which way up after all these years, squinting and straining and... <laughs> well, if this magic... Well, if it's magic that's stopping the silly thing from being read, 
And you'll need Lily's help. Dear little Lily, such a clever girl. All right. Let's go and show it to her. Would you mind if we borrowed it for a while? Oh, go ahead, dear. Bodley has no use for the silly old squiggly old thing. Horrible, head hurty, stony wound, hmm? But do come back and tell me what it says when you work it out, won't you, dearies? Yoo-hoo! Bodley will be waiting! Ta-ta for now! Tee-hee-hee! <laughs> We got an indecipherable tablet. Love it when I get indecipherable tablets. All right. Uh, there. Wait, me. Or a second. We will see. What I am pretty sure is the case is that Streamlabs has probably died. So we're going to go and turn Streamlabs back on. Yeah, it's. I'll I'll look into this after the stream. It's just um, it's just Isaiah about being weird. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back to the capital. is the girl that's in the dispellery. Yeah, Lily is the girl in the dispellery. Only person in the kingdom who can do this, actually. So more so than anyone else in the kingdom, she's actually kind of uh, indispensable. No, it's just uh, when I switch from the scene, it disappears. When you start speaking again, it'll fill up. Yeah, when I when I switch away from the screen, um, the chat box disappears, and then it, like because it's not on the other scene, it's only on this scene, so it doesn't work when it's the I'm on a different scene. So uh, once you start, as you can see on the screen, once you start talking, it fills up again. Master Evan, it is good to see you. Can I help you in some way? As a matter of fact, you can. What can you make of this? What's that? Hmm. Let me see now. Intriguing. It is protected with a charm of encryption. Very clever. Very clever indeed. Can you remove it, Lily? Of course. It's not so clever as to be beyond my skills. But I shall need some seeing sand. Oh, and where might I find that? It was once quite common in the drylands. Alas, I hear that it has been somewhat difficult to come by of late. Drylands, you say? You mean to go by yourself? Then let me mark the places where it can be found on your map. Let me see now. Here and here. Oh, and there. Hold on. Thank you. Thank you, Lily. We'll bring you back some seeing sand right away. See. Take care. The desert is a dangerous place. Not for me. Oh, hide and go seeker has set up something. Really down in the sewers? Okay. To tell the truth, I'm a little tired of all this treasure hiding, so this is the last one. You can find the place where I took this picture. You're welcome to keep what you find there. Happy hunting, treasure fans, and goodbye. Um, where is that? A little help here? Ah, uh, give us a hint, will you? 
What kind of treasure is it anyway? Yar, I finally tracked down one. I don't even know if you can call this little beauty a proper monster, but I've been determined to find one for as long as I can remember. You won't be able to tell from this picture, but these swabs are slinky little movers. Rare find indeed. These little guys ain't easy to, to photograph. Bravo, I've never seen I've never encountered one myself. I have encountered dozens of them. They seem to drop more items and money than your regular monster, but that's about it. If this isn't strictly a monster, then what is it? Ah, there's a fine question. To be honest with you, I have no idea. Don't mind me, dark continent of evilness. I'm just going to the desert. This is the only way I can get there. It's a shame that more of the game doesn't take place in this desert and in the in the um, Jack Frost playground up here. Because like this ship, I was reading like on forums and stuff. This thing apparently comes from another dimension, <laughs> um, which is kind of cool. But unfortunately, you you never actually have to go here for the story, so it's kind of a pointless area. It's just a, it's just a side area that you can go visit. This is a pebble. Nickers! Nickers! No sea and sand by you, man. Best try elsewhere, innit? I feel like they gave us the... Um, the ability to fly too early. Maybe. It's like a... Or, or maybe they made flying too accessible? I don't know. It feels like there's a lot of places where they're like, "Oh, this is a dangerous place. Good luck getting there." And I'm like, "I'm just, I'll just fly over the enemies. I'll be fine. I'll just, I'll just fly over the enemies, and then like, I'll just land near to the thing where I, like, I can land almost anywhere." Oh, there it is. Just a bone. Nickers! Um. Okay, so it's going to be in the last place I check because, of course, it's just just how it works. It's how it always works. It's always in the last place you look. Like. Not even seeing sand, but like seeing sand that comes in a corked bottle? Mm. At last, seeing sand. Mm. Now we can find out what the flip that tablet thingy says, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Let's go and see what. Let's go and see Lily, shall we? Let's go fight this tropical lungfish, why not, sure? Like, this is a desert. A desert isn't a tropical location. I 
Would you consider a desert tropical? I did consider a desert more like kind of an arid place. I suppose a tropical island could be arid, but in, in my mind, like tropical islands are like oases. Now I get to run all the way over to fucking Lily. Found your seeing sand. We've brought you the seeing sand, Daily. Welcome back, Master Evan. If you would be so kind as to hand me the tablet and the sand. Yes! This will be just perfect. The process will take some time, I'm afraid. It might be best if you waited at the castle. I will bring the tablet to you as soon as it has been deciphered. I'll be counting on you. Counting on you, lady. Hmm. I just got word from Zip. Sounds like the Horned One is still stealing souls from all over the world. Luckily, he hasn't ma he hasn't made a move. We may have a little time yet. Hmm. But people are still being sacrificed every moment. Thankfully, if there's one thing I have learned from Nino Kuni 1, it's that when you lose your soul, you just need someone to give it back to you and you'll be good as new. So. Well, that's. No, okay, that's. That's. I shouldn't say good as new, because good as new kind of implies that you'll be brand new and fresh. You'll be the exact same person you were before you had your heart stolen or soul stolen or whatever they want to call it. We have to find Moonstar and put a stop to Dolorin's wickedness as soon as possible. We'll be lucky indeed if he waits long enough for us to locate the sword. Uh -huh. Well, I'd say we're due a little luck. Are we seriously just going to gloss over the fact that like there was evilness pouring out of... Uh, there was evilness pouring out of... Um, Roland, like two or three scenes ago we're just is no one ever gonna bring that up excuse me master evan please you must forgive the wait i have deciphered a tablet the table of you the tablet of unity Arr, if the accursed thing don't, don't tell us something about this holy sword after all the trouble we've been to, I'll fling it off the blessed balcony. Let's see, shall we? Mm. Yes. Of the great cup. The great evil having been laid to rest... The sacred sword, its purpose met, did take the form of a humble cup. Should e'er a king be in need of it again, he, mu he just needs to visit the seldom trod land where, seldom trod land where silence reigneth. There, at the place of a great frozen bowl, he must speak thusly, Cup awaken, sword to make. Once claimed, the cup need only be married with the base of a kingmaker's bond, and lo, the sword shall live again. Yeah! It was a clue about Mornstar. Thank goodness for that. Well. So the sword became a cup, and was hidden away until such time as it was needed once again. Then we'd best find the accursed thing and turn it back into a sword and quit. Huh. The base of a kingmaker's bond. I guess that means we'll need the thing you guys forged your bond with, the royal wig, right? Mm. Yes, and I'll need to remember the magic words. Cup awake, sword to make. Of course. But first, we'll need to determine precisely where the cup is hidden. It's hidden up in Jack Frost's playground. 
probably in the caldera up in Jack Frost's playground. Also, I'm glad I, I love that I was talking not two minutes ago about oh it's a shame you never get to go to Jack Frost's playground as a main part of the story. And then like clearly that person I was talk I was reading on the forum had not gotten this far in the game. The inscription me mentions a quiet place visited by few and a great frozen bowl. He means the caldera in, in Jack Frost Playground. Yeah, I was thinking about that. There's a snowfield in Autumnia called Jack Frost's Playground. It's a ways north of Broadleaf. I heard of a big crater up there called the caldera. I can't say for certain. But if that's your frozen bowl, I can't say for certain if that's your frozen bowl, but I think it might be worth checking out. I think you're right, Bracken. All right, let's go and have a look, shall we? Tani, I think I've said multiple times, is my favorite character in this game. But ever since she got that dope ass hunter's fucking seedling outfit or henchling or whatever the fuck it's called, she's even more my favorite character. My god, would you look at that? That is gorgeous. From a hilltop in the Heartlands, the world in pictures. This is a painting I did of the Heartlands before King Evan and his subjects began to build Evanmore and ruin the place. <laughs> the golden gla the golden grass reflecting the sunlight has tr was truly breathtaking. You can see the rubbly ruins in the foreground. Who knows what life was once like here? I wonder who built these ruins. King Evan really did pick a wonderful spot. I can almost feel the breeze blowing. Wow, just wow. That is genuinely like a fucking gorgeous picture. I wish I could find like so I found the website of the people who made the like in-game art for this game. Uh, they sell like custom prints of the in-game art. But I couldn't find the one I was looking for was uh, this one. Because I like I would like that one either for my desktop background or just like to fucking hang on the wall, right? Because that is a, that is a fucking amazing picture. Uh, but I couldn't find it on their website. I I was showing Kira at a few of the pictures that I did find, but like this was not one of them, unfortunately. I think one of the pictures I did find was a spoiler for the story, but uh, <laughs> I'll I'll not go into that here. Well, no. Oh, flipping it. I I can't believe this stupid sword doesn't even exist yet. We have to make it ourselves. Well, no. It was likely the best way to make sure it never fell into the wrong hands. I mean, if there was a nice shiny sword just sitting there, swabs like ourselves be a long enough flash to pinch the thing. Ho -ho! Ho -ho! Listen. I've designed a lot of weird and wonderful stuff in my career, but. I've never, but never a sacred sword. How do you want it customized? I could, I don't know, make the handle look like Lofty's head or something. Oh God, please, for the love of all that's holy, no, please never do that. Don't, no, no, please, no, no. Play me. That'd be an honor and an off, that would. Nah, man, it's too much even for me. I'd be all embarrassed. <laughs> hmm. Could this cup truly? Could this cup truly exist? It would be of enormous cultural and historical value. In normal times, it would be a worthy addition to any throne room. Hmm. Well, sadly, these aren't normal times. We need that sword. Which means we're going to have to melt that cup down no matter how pretty it is. No, Roland, I don't think you were there when we read the, the tablet. We don't need to melt the cup down. We just need to hold it above our heads 
with twigging, royal twig in hand, royal twig, Jesus Christ, royal twig in hand and just go turn into a sword and then it'll, it'll just become a sword. What was the phrase they wanted us to use? Cop awoken be a sword again or something? <laughs> I can't remember what the line was. Oops. Say. How much King's Guilders is that? 35? No, 3.5 million. Right? Three, yeah, 3.5 million. Nearly 3.6 million. Alright. Let's... And I al I've already been there, so I can just teleport to where I need to go. Tight. There's a drag. Oh. Well, there was a dragon up here. There was a frost worm, I think it was called. Gosh. So, this is the caldera. Do you get it? Because it's a caldera, but it's cold. Caldera. Very good pun. Like, at least a, sol a solid B... B plus pun. Well. It's a great big frozen bowl. That much is certain. Reckon we might be onto something, boy. Oh. Alright. We'd better try these magic words. Pop awake. Sword to make. Ah, my eyes. What is that? Some kind of shrine or something? Let's go and take a closer look, shall we? I'm sure we'll find the cup inside. Finally, they start acknowledging these shrines that are all over the world. Like, uh, there's another one there. So this is the Shrine of Unity. There's the Shivery Shrine. There's uh, the Sublime Shrine. The Sunshade Shrine. Um, the Shrine of Pining. Where's the other ones? There's the, uh... The shrine... The shabby shrine. The shiverwood shrine. The... Is there one in the Heartlands? I guess not. I thought there was one in that. I thought there was, like, one over here. Maybe I didn't find it. Ooh! There's, a. Uh... There's a skirmish over here. Wow. All right, so the cup has to be in here somewhere. <gasps> hmm. Considering how Can well hidden this oh Glowing Dragon Lance. Is that any good for you, Tani? No. Not even good for backup, Tani. Oh, good. Both sides of this place are expensive. Fantastic. This side is slightly less expensive, so we'll go this way. Oh, tight. Savior's tier. That'll be useful. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
it! Quick! Okay, so this wasn't the way to go. So we're supposed to go down the side, right? Oh, we got an amiable egg. Nice. Chiller the north wind in here. Here goes nothing. It's mad to me that this late into the game, because we're clearly in the end game now, right? It's mad to me that this late in the game, we're still fighting fucking hamsters. <laughs> yeah, they did really only make one skin for mazes in this game, and well, to be fair, if we didn't have the DLC, right? If we didn't have the DLC, we would have never done, like, the Dreamer's Maze. We would have never done any of the Dreamer's Mazes. We would have never done, like, the Evil Labyrinth. We would have... So the only time we would have seen places like this would have been... Uh, like... Here, now, in the story. So... I think the main fault comes from us playing the DLC, oh, like, the before guts. we finish the story. Anything around here? Any treasure chests, maybe? Oh yeah, they did. They did just. They did take the. Uh, they they made one labyrinth design in there, and they were like, "Yeah, that's good. Ship it. We'll just we'll put it in all parts of the uh, game. It'll be great." Might as well kill these things. <laughs> Hey. Lofty. Don't you have any way of sensing where the cup huh? is or something? Yeah, you think I am, man? I'm flipping tableware, Rada. Seriously, though, look at the layout of this place. What was, like, what, what the, what was the architect thinking when he made this place? Oh. Shit. Alright. Go fight one of the worst enemy types in the game. You ready for this? Here we go! The only the only good way to fight those things is the blitz cradle. It's like if, heck. surely they can't be much further go by now. How big can this place be? But yeah, if you don't blitzkrieg those um fucking centaur dudes, they just as as you saw with the fight at the start of the night, they take so fucking long to fight because they just jump all over the damn place. What you got? Ooh, a set of wizardly crystal robes. That might actually be good. No. Good new weapons. I see Nimspo in the bad. Not good, though. Ooh.
Hesky Perky Crystal Robes. Slightly boosts resistance to sleep, boosts damage done by... Oh. Spears. Okay. Uh, yep, this one will do. Here you go. New, new armor for you. Uh, any. And no new armor for you, bud. What about boots? Got any new boots? Also, this doesn't look as much like I, I feel. I feel like this is supposed to be snow, but it looks more like ash. Like it really doesn't. Like dust, maybe. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. Oh! Look, there's something up ahead. Finally. Oh, look, it's uh, stained glass. Which, going by my logic, means it should be really warm in here. Oh. Well, that's a boss arena. Well, that's a boss arena if I ever saw one. Seriously, if we'd gotten here like 2,000 years ago, that passage in the middle between this section, like, you can see this this section just here, like, kind of in the middle, and this O section, like, there was clearly a tunnel that used to connect those two. just some sort of shrine is that Bonnie. not the horn is that not a shrine to the horned one that looks like the horn that kind of looks like the horned one except he has loads of like uh, spiral drums around him like he's a, a raisin or something and nothing cut like in sight either <sighs> did did we make a wrong turn somewhere there's only there's only one way to go Oh shit, the statue. Lads, the statue woke up. Lads, the sta- Oh shit, the statue's alive! Lads! Temper Temple. Hallowed home of holy hellfire. Cool. You ready for this? <gasps> Fuck him up, lads! He's protecting something! Fuck him up! Good work, lads. Hey, look, it's a cop. Or a goblet. A cup, but yeah, sure. I like when the camera zooms out and my eyes zoom in on the absolute territory on the <laughs> As Warhammer says, burn in holy hellfire. When did Evan befriend the Master Chief to get an energy sword? Uh, I don't remember where I got my first energy. Uh, oh. Wait, no. Uh, this? No. What's the button for changing weapons? No. Uh, no. This? What is the button for changing weapons? I've forgotten what the button for changing weapon is. Alright, I was going to show you what the sword looked like, but uh, the first one... I can't remember where I got the first one, but the second one I got from... A Dreamer's Maze. Oh my! So this is... It's beautiful. 
Do we really have to turn something so pretty into a sword? Swords can be pretty. Look at my radiant sword. Also, once we kill the big bad, it will turn back into a cop. Okay. Unless you want to try clunking the horn one over the head with a flipping goblet, then yeah. Come on, let's go and forge ourselves something a bit choppier. We really, really need to, like, melt it. Do we really need to melt this fuck? Do we really need to melt this cup down and turn it into a sword? Because that's not how swords work, I don't think. Like, it has gemstones in it, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Leander, stop posting sensitive national security information onto fucking Facebook! God. This isn't World of Tanks. You can't just post secret military information on online here. It's not okay. The Cup of Communion. We have managed to obtain this legendary artifact, and truly it is a thing of beauty. Seems a terrible waste to melt it down to forge a sword, but history will not forgive us if we do not try. Before it vanishes forever, here is a final image of the cup. Yar, it would be perfect for swigging grog. Don't even think about it, Batu. Leander, don't let it out of your sight. Why the fuck did they make a cop out of a metal... out of a metal able to kill God? I don't know. It's like, uh, it was like a trophy. Like the Sta it was like the Stanley Cup. But, like, it can kill God. Say. Old water, Tanny. Time to make the sword of unity at last. Can't wait to see how it, what it looks like. Can you? I'm getting flash. I'm getting flashbacks to fucking. I'm getting flashbacks to Dragon Quest Eleven when you like make the fucking, when you like make the the sword that can kill the big bad guy, and then like, you 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 like you take or no you you go and you you get the sword out. You go to the like the world tree to get the sword that can kill the bad guy. And then the bad guy shows up and is like, Aha, you led me here. Thanks for letting me in, bitches. And then he kills your whole team. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm, getting, I'm getting trauma flashbacks from that. It's like, oh no, is everyone I love about to die? Have you tried telling God that it is not the one true God? Well, no, but that is the first plan when we get there. Now listen here. What's the use of a fancy sword when the creature you're trying to chop down is the size of... The size of that blessed big! That monstrosity would squish heaven underfoot before you could even get anywhere near! We have an air force, Batu. I'm not going to walk to him, I'm going to fly to him. Of course. The size differential is certainly a concern. Would that a spell existed that might cause Evan to grow to a similarly prodigious size? Alas, it does not. You should speak to my friends in the Psychonauts. They could turn me into a big person. They could turn me into a kaiju. Huh. Weird that that's the way both Psychonauts games ended, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, is that they turn you into a kaiju. We got the stick you used to forge your king spawn from that Higgledy, huh? Whiff waff the wafty? He used to be in my party! He's not in my party anymore, but he used to be in my party. Also, that royal twig is actually the um, all-powerful uh, wand that the, the main character of the first game used. So, you know, shut up. 
Jim Schaefer just has an inflation fetish. It isn't that big of a mystery. <laughs> Evan versus Cloud. Who wins? Um, Evan, because Cloud wouldn't have his moves patched in for like another two years or so. Look, girls. Do we really need another fucking rose-covered pillar? Shut up, Applejack. Takes the cat. It makes the cat boy happy. So, so we could do more important things. Now, how is that cider flume writing coming along? <laughs> we just got the stick you. We got the stick you used to forge your king's bond from that higgledy, huh? If he waft the wafty, he helped him out of a tight spot, and he gave it to us. To, we helped him out of a tight spot, and he gave it to us to say thanks. Wow, seems like such a long time ago. Really? A higgledy gave you a present? Look, man, I don't even know they could pick stuff up. If I'd known there was a backstory behind that twig, I would have been a bit more impressed. No, you wouldn't. Want me to get to work on the Sword of Unity? Wait, wait, wait. Um, we're gonna wait a little longer because we're right at the end of the we're we're right at the end of the stream, and I'm afraid that if I click on begin development, that it's gonna set off a chain reaction that I can't stop, and I uh -huh. wanna do side stuff. Uh yeah, just when I'm ready, say the word. We'll do. Alright, so we are we're going to leave it here then. And uh, that is where I will end the stream for tonight. Um, thank you, everyone, for coming along to said stream. Um, I am going to... S I, I, sh I have the day off tomorrow, so I'm probably going to spend a good bit of tomorrow, like... Well, tomorrow evening, anyway, because I have, like, stuff to do in the morning. But, uh, probably going to spend a good bit of tomorrow evening uh, working on side stuff and trying to get the kingdom up to level 5 or level 4. Um, I suppose I should say goodbye to everyone uh, watching in YouTube land, and I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.